A very good morning to all of you watching uh, this uh, live coverage of the SLC Major Clubs uh, T20 Tournament 2022. This is the final between uh, Sri Lanka Army Sports Club taking on uh, Karambu Coles Cricket Club here from uh, Pisara Oval Grounds in Colombo. It's going to be an interesting uh, final between two unbeaten teams taking on each other in uh, what would be a brilliant uh, game of uh, T20 cricket. So we are pleased to uh, bring all these pictures uh, live to you from uh, Pisara Oval. As I welcome uh, Laksi Sidisila. Laksi, a very good morning to you. It's going to be an interesting game, isn't it? Very good morning, Damit. Yes, it's going to be an interesting game. The two unbeaten sides, the best, t two best sides in this tournament. Uh, two sides who actually had a very good time during the last season as well. Army who lost the finals to SSC and Coles who lost the quarterfinals to SSC. So uh, both the teams will be determined to go out there and win this trophy. Some great names out there as well. Some players with a lot of experience and some exciting young names as well. Yeah, definitely. Uh Army SC coached by uh, Roger Vijay Surya, while uh, Coles coached by uh, Shanaka Disanayaka, Roger Vijay Surya, great coach, we have uh, molded many uh, champion teams, school level, tennis level, Sri Lanka under 19s, so they will be hunting another title, Asila Gunaratna, we all know what he did seven years ago in this uh, very tournament experience campaigner in this domestic circuit army sports club always a formidable unit and always uh, pack a punch army sports club there you go plenty of encouragement from the army uh, sports club um, authorities we have uh, contributed many uh, things uh, to Sri Lanka cricket and will deserve they've uh, been in this final. Sri Lanka Army who defeated Saracens in the semi-finals by 52 runs, Damit. They wrote the finals for Army, they defeated Navy by 8 wickets and then uh, defeated Bloomfield by 46 runs, defeated Gold by 37 runs, Moors by 7 wickets, Kuru Nagala by 7 wickets and then in semi-finals they defeated Saracens by 52 runs, Damit. A very good outing by them, an undefeated run, so hopefully they can finish things off undefeated as well. Yeah, some of those games have been uh, completely uh, dominated by Army Sports Club. 126 run victory in a T20 game is massive. But uh, Coles uh, Cricket Club, a young team, many of their players are not uh, playing in this uh, T20 tournament, but they've uh, done well this young uh, Coles outfit. BRC were their opponents in that semi-final two days ago. They won by 67 runs. They defeated uh, the strong Tamil Union uh, lineup uh, in 97 runs. So uh, it's going to be uh, a good game between these two teams, Coles and Sri Lanka Army. So. Um, we had uh, Garmini Pereira out there in the middle analyzing uh, this pitch which will be used for the T20 final. Good morning everybody. Once again we've got overcast and humid conditions out here in the middle. We had a heavy downpour yesterday so the outfield is slightly on the heavier side but it's not going to have a big effect on this game. 68 yards for the, uh, to the um, scoreboard side. 70 yards right around so good distance for a t20 game we are using the same pitch as the semi-final on wednesday let's have a look i'll tell you what it's hard as a rock it's slightly different to the wednesday's game it's darker in color what that means is there a bit of moisture on it as you can see those tiny cracks that were there on Wednesday has disappeared somewhat. So the head groundsman, Susi Lananda, has done a tremendous job. What he has done is put a bit more water and applied the heavy roller. So those cracks have disappeared. Spinners, again, will play a major part on this. Once the ball gets older, it will be two pace. Run making will be difficult. Fast bowlers also came into four the last, in the last game. They'll be relying on their pace and length variations. 
I'll tell you what, Samir, 140, 160, is, you will need some good batting skills to get there. So I'll say you'll probably bat first and apply some pressure. Yeah, same pitch uh, which was used for the two semi-finals, but uh, with a little uh, change of colour in the pitch. But uh, Gavani Pereira reckons that the team winning the toss will bat first, but uh, we will see what the winning uh, captain would do. We have Harita Pereira in the middle with the two captains. Sri Lanka cricket, Antar Krida Samaj, Panduar, Vis, Avasan, Maha Tarange, Pertimata, Sihala Sudanam, Kandam Dika, Aparajita, Mitaranga, Saba, Gim Vadagat, Adapagi, Kasi Vasi, Winwin, PTM at the Sitina, Taranga Tiraka, Ranjit Prianta, Atrek Vinisuru, Ravindra, Kotachi, Kasi Vasi Udamana, Kolma Kohl's Naika, Akila Dananja, Ilim Sidukarane, Yudamuda Naika, Tisra Pereira. Headitis. <laughs> Aparajita Kanda and Deka Kinda, Sayano, the Manzaka Matamakin, Tarangit Sabagino, Pratua di Kanda, Kuya Karet, Pupata Taranga Devi Kilabala Putino. Etheram Maitan on the Kanda, Mode on the Dekim Bahula Kanda, Kitting me on the Taranga Denel Bala Portino. Nike Kadito Bugi Karibarita Hundin to Garapasuki Tarangit to be Yakaret, my Metarno Kanda, maybe the Vishesha Abiogi Himati, but the Taranga Lepura. Nah, him a loco abiogan, Moko, the Hamogam on the ideas and everything, meditating, Hamogam ideas, Saraginatama, Pimi, Hamela, may change a slabagan, Nithi Mamatani, Mata Himaloku, Karbahulakna, Kogam, Sahagam, and Lavadino. The Akila Pesupatum, Huntanga Baraportuno. Thank you. Kasi Vasi Muna, not Mulin Pandur Paradim Rasta. Oh, wake up, Honda Made, Moka, the Mankamati Matter, final cell, Mulin Batkan, Moka, the scoreboard pressure, Dan, the Nanang, either on the Akne, Moka, the Dinia Batkan, or any scoreboard pressure, Kariamari, Handel Karan. Balaprutu, Wakaret, Pitigar Neduna, Lakunwater at Pamuna, Probla Kandaimak, Adekim Saha, Daksata, Hibi Kandaimak. When has come to be known? Oh, Eka Venas Kamatino, Patum Dilchan, and Tulin Dilchan, Latino, Eka Venas Kamatin, Pogitargi. Then I may Tanatiru di Habelum Tisar, but Kuyuagi, Lakun Sanka, Kemenatam, Balaprutu, the Tini Pitikar Nevati. Waterma, Mama Kandama Sam Katagarem could make a semi final league of Mikat Tekak, Inza, Api, Kasi Hatalia plus Gahantama, Pekama, Target Tekatini, Mahitana, Kasi Hatalia, the Vedian Gahutem, Hunta Taranga, the Napulan Kila. Api Balaprutuno, Hunta Tarange, Kandam de Kim, Api Subatano, but Mr. Kasi Vasia, Dinagata, Column Coles Naika, Akila Dananje, Umulin Tiranekare, Panduya Vimatai. Yeah, quite surprisingly, Coles uh, won the toss and um, elected to bowl first. Coles, you see, same team which played the semi final Sangeet Kure, Vishad Randika, Ravindura Santa, Hashan Dumindu, Mudita Lakshan, Dharanjay Lakshan, Avishka Pereira. Nimesh Mendes, Vinjuran Pul, Chamod Batage, and the captain Akila Dananje. He had a very good outing in the semi finals. The skipper, very young side, Cole CC. Army Sports Club, they made uh, just one change for this final. Tulina Dilshan, the opening batter from uh, St. Benedict's College, he's coming in for Patum Dilshan. He'll open the batting most likely with Ashan Randika. Sikuke Prasanna Sale, Gunarat Natisara Pereira. Also the Mendis, Patum Dilshan, Lakshan Edir Singh, Patum Boteju, Lakshan Gamage and Gayan Chandra was a very strong army side. So they'll have the first lease of uh, this final batting first. It's going to be uh, an important game for both these teams and uh, lovely pictures of uh, the Kalambo background. Here's the two umpires, Kirti Bandara. Keithi Bandara and Pradeep Pudavati, the two umpires. Ashan Randika and Tulna Dilshan will open the batting. 
because uh, they started off in the semi-finals also using spinners and they are going to do the same here Alexis. Yes, Muddhid Lakshan had a very good time in the match and this is Ashan Randika. He has played 41 matches so far and has scored 970 runs. An average of 28.52 and look at the strike rate 152.03 and a high score of 117. Someone who can destroy any bowling lineup on his day, Adamit. Yeah, definitely the national selectors will have a closer eye on Ashan Randika going forward and especially with the LPL player draft also coming up, uh, Ashan Randika would want to take this opportunity with both hands, make a statement and uh, hopefully will be a strong uh, contender for a place in the Sri Lankan T20 team in the future as well. But today he has a job in his hand to give Army Sports Club a solid start. Sangeet Kure rolled his uh, full quota of four overs in the semi-finals for just 17 runs, picked up a week or two. A slip in place for Sangeet Kure. The two fielders uh, outside the 30 yard circle are long off and deep in wicket. Be an interesting battle, Damit. Or spinner against the left handed batter. Quick single by Ashan Randiga to begin the proceedings for Sri Lanka Army. Yeah, it's very important to uh, have uh, very good communication early on. Cannot uh, start off a final with a run out. Tulna Dilshan have played only seven uh, T20 games. He'll uh, improve his stats uh, going forward as a batter they have plenty of options at the top of the order army sports club tactical decision to bring in uh, Tulna Dilshan especially maybe to counter uh, the left arm spinners of uh, Coles started off well Tulna Dilshan but a very good effort there that's uh, Danjay Lakshan at uh, extra covers probably saving a Single or two. Feeling is quite important, Amit, isn't it? During the power play, especially, you need to cut off every run possible because in T20s, during the power play, the opening batters, they try to always go in the explosive way. Ashran Randika facing Sangeet Kure once again. No chance for a single out there. The dot ball for Sangeet Kure. Damit, what do you think what would be a good score for Sri Lanka Army? Yeah, they'll definitely target anything above 150. In a final, having uh, runs on the board will be vital. Sangeet Kure, the best of three for in uh, T20 cricket. He's a handy customer with the ball, Sangeet Kure. I thought uh, probably missed out uh, on an opportunity to play for the Sri Lanka A team as well. Sangeet Kure had a very good uh, National Super League. Scored above uh, 300 runs in the red ball format, but this is a whole new game here at uh, Pisara Oval. Great uh, work by uh, the Pisara Oval authorities maintaining uh, this uh, ground, and uh, we are all set to uh, see a great final. Good over so far from Sangeet Kure. He has uh, taken 16 wickets in his uh, T20 career. That time, Ashan Randika pierces that uh, offside ring. That's the first boundary of the final. Chamoth Bhattagay had no opportunity in saving that short and wide asking to be hit. Ashan Randika, he'll pounce on anything which is outside of brilliant stuff. An important boundary after two dot balls for Ashan Randika. They needed that, his team needed that. They need a good start in this power play. In the same final as well, Damit, they batted first and scored 169 and they defended that. Looking for a quick single. Richard Randika, if he had hit the stumps that time, I think Tulna Dilshan would have been walking back to the pavilion. First over completed. Army 7 for no loss.
Ami Sports Lab, seven for Nolos after the end of the first over. Sangeet Kure will the first over for calls. And it's going to be Dananja Lakshan who will be holding the second over for calls. Someone who has international experience, played in ODI for Sri Lanka against England last year. A find from the first season of El Bieldamit. Yeah, excellent prospect, uh, Dananja Lakshan. Can open the batting, can open the bowling. A very, very rare talent. Captain the Sri Lanka Emerging uh, T20 squad uh, last uh, month when they toured England. 28 wickets so far in his uh, T20 career. Best of 3 for 17. He bowled only two overs in that semi final. Picked up uh, a wicket, but um, his pace variations will be vital in a pitch which will uh, be on the slower side. They actually picked up the important wicket of Tilagratna Sampad in the semi-finals, Damit, which was an important wicket. Good to see Akhila Dhananjaya having a slip in place. If they had to win this game, uh, Cole CC, they need early breakthroughs. Definitely, Damit, because uh, when you see the next three batters for Army, they are more than capable. We all know that. We have seen them doing that in the international arena as well. Sikuwe Prasad, Nasa, Lagunratna, and Tisaravera. Tisaravera scored a captain's knock, scored a 50 in the semi finals as well. So let's see what calls can do. Danjal Akshan again. Allowed a peel by Danjal Akshan. It's a very loud appeal. Danjal Akshan. He thought uh, he was in business. Umpire Pradeep Udavatta probably pitching outside the uh, leg stump. Danajal Lakshan was very excited. Calls who won the toss and uh, decided to bowl first. An interesting choice as Damit said because the teams who battled first during the semi-finals day, they won the match. So it will be interesting to see their tactics could be going forward in this match. Here we go, Ashan Randika. That's his first six of the final. Came down the track and uh, took the aerial route, Ashan Randika. He's a destructive batter. That was pure power, isn't it, Damit? came down the track and just punished Anjali Lakshan for the first maximum of the match. This is the replay once again. Yeah, he uh, went towards the leg side, got some room, loves uh, stretching his hands out. He's a good player. His uh, most uh, key feature in his batting is his hands. Good fast hands from Mashan Randiga. Over the third man, short third man fielder, another boundary. Mashan Randiga, he has quickly moved to 16 of 9. This is the replay once again. Can be strongly by Mashan Randiga. A 6 and to follow it up, a 4 for Mashan Randiga. Damit has scored 100 in this tournament as well. Someone who's in brilliant form. When you're bowling outside the off stump, uh, Laksasi needs to have uh, the third man in place. But they have this feel, uh, in my opinion, for the slower delivery. Captain uh, Akhil Dananja immediately removing uh, that slip field and pushing him back to the 30 yard circle. Swing and a miss for Shan Randika. A valuable dot ball for Tanjal Lakshan after going for 10 runs in the previous two deliveries. Yeah, he generates his uh, power from um, his hands. He relies a lot on his hands, Ashan Randika. Not uh, much on his uh, foot movement. But this is T20 cricket. They started off well, Army Sports Club. Yeah. 
good in to the over from uh, Dhananjay Lakshan. Two completed, 17 for no loss. Just join in on this uh, live coverage. This is the final of the uh, Sri Lanka Cricket Organised Interclub um, T20 Tournament. Final between Sri Lanka Army Sports Club led by uh, Tisera Pereira and Kalambu Coles Cricket Club led by Akhil Dananja. Uh, bringing all these pictures live from uh, Pisara Oval Grounds in uh, Kalambu. You can watch the match live on uh, Dialogue Television, Channel 140, Sri Lanka Cricket YouTube, as well as on the papare.com. Tulna Dilshan. Finding that uh, deep mid wicket fielder, the two fielders outside the 30 yard circle uh, from uh, deep mid wicket and uh, long on for the right hander, but for the left hander, it's uh, the deep mid wicket fielder and uh, long off. Sangeet Kure. Will be expected to break this partnership. If not, it will be uh, very hard to stop this uh, arm batting lineup, especially the likes of uh, Ashan Randika. I've been very impressed uh, over the past few seasons playing at Army Sports Club. Ashan Randika he can offer plenty for the Sri Lanka T20 circuit. Here we go again. That's the second six. It's a maximum. Brutal power from uh, Ashan Randika. Ashan Randika showing his power to the whole world, Damit. An important stage, the grand final, and here he is, Ashan Randika, delivering to the maximum. His second six, and we are just in the third over. What a stroke, what a play, Ashan Randika. The highest run scorer in this uh, competition, Ashan Randika. He made eight sixes and uh, five fours during that uh, 100 against Kalkara. He has gone, he's gone. He's spoken uh, too much on Ashan Randika, but uh, Vishad Randika, that time the Randika factor, uh, this time helping out uh, Coles Cricket Club. We're praising Ashan Randika, but. Uh, we forgot to mention Vishad Randika. Yes, that dismissal. Very unfortunate. He was going for it. His, uh, yeah, Vishad Randika, brilliant stuff. Ashan Randika was going for it, but uh, Tulin Dilshan wasn't in favor of it. Army Sports Club has lost their power hitter early on. 24 for 1. Ashan Randika departs for 22. One destructive batsman goes and another one comes in. Sikuge Prasanna. Someone with lots and lots of experience playing international cricket and playing franchise cricket all over the world. Ishad Randika putting a full stop to that onslaught by Ashan Randika. This Sikuge Prasanna, 191 matches, 2001 runs and a strike rate of 157.43. A brilliant strike rate, isn't it, Damit? A destructive batter, and that strike rate just proves it. This is going to be the plan for Cole's uh, CC. Pulling uh, outside the off stump to uh, Sikuge Prasanna. There's no uh, protection in the boundary line uh, in the off side. Tulna Dilshan trampled his own feet but manages to get through. That's Three it. overs completed, 25 for one army. A 
Ashram Sports Club 25 with a loss of one wicket after three overs. Ashram Randika with a great start. Unfortunately, got run out for 22. Great piece of fielding by Vishad Randika. So Randika tried his very best. He dived as well, but unfortunately, he was found short of his mark. Sibge Prasanna. Looked out as the number three batter for Army Sports Club. He's currently on one and Tulna Dilshan, the opening partner of Ashran Randiki, has faced just two deliveries so far. Dhananjal Lakshan to continue. With the power play, six overs. Here's the field. Two fielders uh, on the fence for Sikuge. On the leg side, and he goes through for a quick single. Even though you have uh, power to clear the boundary, you need to settle down first. You take the strike, keep the scoreboard moving. They've got a good platform, Army Sports Club. You just need to uh, continue this uh, good start. While Coles, they need to get another couple of wickets to uh, dominate this game early on. No chance for a single over there. Army Sports Club maintaining a healthy run rate of over 8, but now with that dot ball, that's going down to 7.8. Tuna Dilshan, even though he uh, came out to open the batting, he has only faced three deliveries so far. Yeah, um, they have not uh, rotated the strike much. He hasn't got the opportunity. It's a two-paced uh, surface. The ball is not coming onto the bat as much as uh, Tulna Dilshan prefers. That's why I initially mentioned uh, Laxis. It's uh, very important that you settle in on this pitch. Give uh, ample time to choose to uh, the pace of the pitch. Plenty of uh, changes in the field from Akila Dananjir. It won't be easy for any batsman to come out there and hit sixes from the word go. They'll need to settle down. Thank you, Lakshman, once again. Probably would have been a knuckle boy from uh, Dananjay Lakshan. Or maybe the back of the hand, slower ball. But that's uh, one of his forte. Dananjay Lakshan, change of pace, that variations he brings into the T20 game. It's the uh, match referee Ranjit Priyanta along with uh, Tiro Mijay Vardhana. Two great officials. Uh, in the domestic circuit. Another quick single. Field at uh, extra covers. Too deep. Vinijuran pull there. Vinijuran pull them it. Someone who played in the under 19 World Cup earlier this year. Took a five wicket hole against Afghanistan. Twenty-eight for the loss of one wicket. A very good over by the Angel Akshan so far. Just three runs from this over. Another great delivery by the Angel Akshan to end the fourth over. I'm supposed to have twenty-eight for the loss of one wicket. Bowling change for Coles uh, to the club. Sangeet Kure, who did the job uh, with the left hand uh, in the middle, but now we have two right handers. So, Captain Akhilayananjay opting uh, for a spinner who can 
Take the ball away from the right handers. Mudita Lakshan. This time uh, Spinner, he opened the bowling. Oh no, uh, probably another change, a late change. He uh, initially gave the ball to Mudita Lakshan, but then he changed his mind and he has opted for pace of uh, Vinu Jaranpu. Lux is he, uh, remember his spell in that World Cup, under 19 World Cup. Still playing at uh, Nalanda College. Good uh, all round cricketer, Vinu Jaranpu. Still early days in uh, T20 cricket. Mind you, none of these school boys play T20 cricket uh, at school. So all these three matches have been in this competition for Vinu Jaranpu. He's actually bowled really well in the semi-finals. Took one wicket for nine runs in his two overs. And as Damit said, during that semi quarter final against Afghanistan in the under World Cup, took a five wicket toll and nearly carried Sri Lanka over the line at the end as well. It's a capable batter. A, a huge prospect for Sri Lanka going forward. This is Vinuja. That's excellent work. That's uh, Ravindra Santa at uh, deep square leg. Saved a couple of runs for his team. Every run matters in a final. Can talk all day about uh, batting and bowling, but fielding, that's very important. Good effort. 10 out of 10 for Ravindra Santa that time. Vinu Jaranpul banging it short. Not a wise thing to do, especially to a power hitter in the caliber of uh, Sikuge Prasanna. He's eyeing for that mid wicket region, vacant mid wicket region. Another four man grand in Sri Lanka player. He cross bats it, Sikuge Prasanna. Straight down the ground, but uh, not from the full face of the bat. It's a cross batted pull. Look at that. Vinjur Ranpur put his hand out. No chance for him or to uh, Akhil Dalanja. It's a fast outfield here at Oval Grounds. Sigve Prasanna trying to insert some pressure on the youngster early in his spell. Six runs from the first two deliveries. But there's only 10 more balls remaining in the power play. So Sigve Prasanna, that's his job to maximize uh, the uh, fielding restriction. Slow, slow delivery from Vinja uh, Rampul. You need that kind of uh, variations. Akhil Dhananja, the uh, highest wicket taker in the competition. Akhil Dhananja picked up uh, three wickets uh, in the semi-finals. So far, out of seven games, he has picked up 16 wickets, the uh, captain for Cole CC. That flew, but uh, good work from Minos Mendes. Just a single. Akhil Dhananja, we've spoken a lot about uh, the uh, off spinner. He's now an experienced campaigner. Started off at Coles, played for Sri Lanka. Here's, uh, that uh, brilliant spell in the semi-finals. Three wickets, three important wickets to restrict uh, Burger Recreation Club in the semi-finals. Leading wicket taker, Akhle Dhananja. He's been uh, discarded from uh, the national team, but uh, continues to try and find a place. Tulna Dilshan gets a hold of it. That's the second boundary in this over. An expensive over so far from Inuj Ranpool. 11 runs given away and there's one delivery remaining as well. The previous over this is the uh, stroke once again by Tulna Dilshan. Cleared the infield quite easily. The previous over from Dhananjal Lakshan gave away just three runs but without all that pressure Army Sports Club they have scored 11 runs from this over. Third nine for loss of one wicket. We are in the final delivery of the fifth over. Even off uh, Ranpool's first over. Five completed, Army 39 for one. 
catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. Lots of soldiers in today. Just, uh, what do you call them? Colleagues in play. Army Sports Club in the finals of this SLC Major T20 Clubs Tournament taking on Colts. Two very good teams, unbeaten sides. They've been at the top of their game since, especially in the semi finals that we brought here on the papare.com. Damini Silva, good morning to you. You were out there in the morning doing the pitch report. I saw you wearing a hat, but it wasn't so hot, was it? Good day to play cricket today. Good morning, Samir. My father will be very upset. Uh, he'll be smiling from, uh, smiling from his grave. I'm Gamni Pereira, not Silva. I keep confusing those two. I don't know why. It's just a slip of the tongue that always happens with your surname. That's another single there. But very nicely played. Very nicely played. Use the pace of the spinner. That might just tickle away to the boundary. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So a nice looking shot there from Siku Ge. We generally associate him to be a power hitter, but this time he uses the pace of the spinner to nicely guide that away to the boundary at fine leg. A more than decent start from um, uh, Cole's army rather. I was a bit surprised that Akhila Dhananje from Cole's, when he had the choice to do what he wanted to do, he invited army to bat first. Anything over eight runs on this pitch. Pretty good game. Pretty optimistic. Pretty optimistic shout. The spare arm from Mudita going with the arm that they missed the leg stump by quite a distance. You need to be smart bowling on a wicket like this. Very your pace. A bit too paced as our previous commentators were telling us. It's a nice single. That's what Sikuke has done well, hasn't he? We know he can bludgeon the ball, but he's also got these little nudges that he pushes and crosses over for singles. That's something you need to do on a wicket like this. I think I used to know a Garmini Silva. That's why I keep calling you that. So apologies. This is live from the Pisara Oval Grounds, the historic venue for Sri Lanka. But today, it's playing host to the finals of the shortest format of the international game. Army. Put into bat first, sort of 44 for one. They've lost that one wicket, but they will be happy with their run rate. Torina has gone along, gone nicely, very well. Siku game being the aggressor after Ashan Ramdika got out. That should be the ploy. There will always be one batter who will go after, and then one batter who will try to bat out the 20 overs. Possibly, if you can have one batsman batting throughout the innings, will certainly help. Quicker delivery. Tulina comes into the side for the final. Didn't take part in the semi final. This has been a good over. Yeah, but still get good going, uh, Samir. Last ball of the first power play. Still got nine wickets back in the shed. So 44 for one after six overs. Into the first power play, Army Sports Club after having been put to bat first out of 44 for one. They've lost that one wicket of the top order aggressive batter, Ashan Randhika. Saw him play a couple of amazing strokes. Right now, we see the signal of the end of the power play. And in comes the captain, Akila Daranja, the man in form. Picked up three superb wickets in the semi finals against BRC. And here he is again to try and break this partnership. Yeah, in the semi final, Samir Akila Daranja took a bit of time to introduce himself to the attack but here he sees the danger in um, Sikuge Prasanna on strike so what better way than to lead from the front he's after this wicket Sikuge Prasanna in particular very experienced campaigner those are good stats mind you economy rate just under 8 runs per row which is on par really average 
20.82, very decent. And the first ball is slightly short, Sikhu Ke Prasadna, quick caught to his back foot. This should be a good battle, shouldn't it? Akhila Dhananjaya, an experienced, very canny spinner, smart bowler, has variations and Sikhu Ke doesn't like to hold back, likes to get among the runs very quickly. Should be a good contest this, between two very experienced cricketers. Didn't pick that one. That was the uh, conventional leg spin. Just a couple. Yeah, the other important factor is that Samir, it becomes a bit more of a tactical affair these T20 games, particularly when the weather is around. And um, one thing that Coles will be happy is that there is no sun, still very overcast. So what it does is that I mentioned in the pitch report that ground, uh, ground staff, that's up, hit up in the air. Couple of bouncers, just the one. They've done a tremendous job. What they've done is they've put a bit of water and applied the heavy roller, so that will help to hold the surface together for a bit longer. And if you have the sun, it'll dry, and then the loose soil will appear here and there. But right now, it's overcast, so Colt will be happy that the wicket is not going to deteriorate throughout the 40 overs because that's a strange reason to bowl, uh, bowl first. And they haven't bowled badly so far. They've been there and there about just that, that start that Ashan Randika got really has given them uh, given the army uh, a bit of a strong start. But other than that, they've been on the money, Colts. I mean, given away too many freely. That's a nice looking shot. That's a slog sweep taken from outside the off stump. And that's super piece of fielding there. Field at deep mid wicket, covering a lot of ground. And that one handed save saved a couple of runs for sure there. Yeah, Tanto. He is feeling a deep mid wicket. That couple takes army total above 50. Still good going. Look at this. Capital C for commitment. Wicket delivery. Still gets a run on the leg side. So decent over. Eight off. 51 for one. Seven down. Very good start for Army Sports Club, 52 for 1. They've had a decent power play. Ashan Randika, as we saw, got off to a really good start. Played a couple of very nice looking strokes. That one was the first six that he scored off Dhananjay Lakshan. One over the third man. The strong lad, this guy, and that was the biggest of them all. Right down here under the commentary box. Huge beep, huge one. And then, that unfortunate run out. Went for a quick one and superb work there by the wicket keeper. Ashan Randika. Prasanna then came in and went about his many ways. This is a beautiful ground, isn't it? Pisaro Oval has so much history to it, so much significance to it for Sri Lankan cricket. Always good to come back here. You play a lot of cricket here, Gunnar? I did play a fair bit. Beautifully struck. Good work from the fielder at deep extra again from Rashanta. Tomin. So, you asked me the question. I did play some cricket against St. Thomas uh, in this ground. One fine day in March, about 30 years back. I wanted to roll this wicket and take it home. That should be a good story. Prasanna here against Mudita Lakshan is going well so far. Picked up a few wickets or did you score her runs? I just gave my age of it in. Come on! Come on. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> Those of you who are watching this live and exclusive coverage on the popper.com, this is the finals. Okay, okay, easy. Gamini Pereira is revealing intricate details about his cricket career here. Another single to see Kuke Prasanna. Just an important stat just a moment ago, bottom of your screen. The last 18 balls. There are a few dot balls starting to creep in, see? Still, the, well, there's one boundary in the last 18 balls. Mind you, this outfield is not the quickest. It's slightly on the heavier side, so unless you play it right along the ground, if you're going to chip here at the ball, it's going to reach like a sandwich, really. Those drop come shots. On. Well, the plonk, it just plonks into the ground, doesn't it? That one picked up. Fielder gets under it. Good catch. Good grab. 
We saw yesterday where Lalage taking a similar catch, diving forward, having the technique to uh, finish the action. That's a pretty good, good grab again. I told you about a few dot balls starting to uh, creep into this game and there it is. It produced the wicket. It was 13 of 16. He felt like he had to go for it. They've been playing that shot quite a bit now. It's either been too short or too full and this time the very good length there, Turina. Choosing to pull that and like you said, superb technique to take that catch. So very well done. Good wicket there for Coles. They're applying the pressure back on the Amitullah. Dilchan goes for a 14 of 18 deliveries. Army have lost their second wicket for 54. Just lost their second. We got 54 for two in this final. We are just about to finish the eighth over here. The piece are oval. Drone bringing us some beautiful pictures here of the surrounding areas of the piece are oval. Very good footage. This. Right then, Lakshan Edri Singh is the new batter. Maybe the Lakshan will bowl to him. One Lakshan to the other Lakshan. Last ball of the over. Given, but straight to the fielder that should end a successful over for Mudita Lakshan. Just one run and a wicket. Eight overs completed, 54th draw. Shots coming from the drone. Lakshan Edir Singh. 20.89. That's his average. Strike rate is pretty decent. Pisco of 63. He needs to work with his senior partner Sikuge Prasanna in order to get these back innings back in their favor. I'll tell you what, Army slightly favorite at this stage, Samir, for me because runs on the board on a pitch that is pretty dry and it's holding up a touch and we'll probably see after the 10th over once the ball gets older the run making will be even more difficult it is you can't really play p uh, pick up shots or oh, that's quick that is quick and he's been beaten for speed and that's an easy decision for the umpire Kirti Bandara making that decision I was just about to say Laksha Redri Singer was very impressive in that semi-final, played some really nice looking strokes and is looking forward to him doing the same here but he's up against the uncanny Akila Dharanjaya. What a bowler, what an experienced bowler, playing for the spin there Laksha Redri Singer stuck on his back foot, that one coming on straight and there's nothing he could do about it. You talked about how this wicket is too paced and this time Laksha Redri Singer falling, pace, falling prey to the faster one that just skidded through. And he's unable to trouble the scorers. Gone for a duck. 54 for 3. So two wickets for Coles. They're right back in this game. Akhila Dananje picking up a wicket in his second over. Let's see whether we can um, get the replay again. And I'll tell you, Samir, that's that's more of a tactical blow than a, a technical one. Asele Gunratna, probably the most experienced batsman along with Tisara Pereira in this army lineup. Googly to first heart. It's just missing leg stump. Yeah, Akhil Dhananje, he's got a few variations um, in his armory and uh, that wicket taking ball, see where he delivers the ball from. He lowered his arm to lower the trajectory. So his delivery point, what we call it around 10 o'clock in the clock if you're facing uh, forward. 
and he got more sides with that's well struck that's very well struck that's bread and butter for Sikuki Prasanna he just liked the leg side that was right up in his alley this is where a lot of batters capitalize on Akhil Dhananjay's weaknesses. He's got a few variations and sometimes they don't come out too well, just like this up this occasion. Tries to bowl that leg spinner too much down the leg side and Sikuke Prasanna, for all his experience, all he needed to do was just get some decent bat onto that and that just sailed away over the boundary line for a six. This time it's straight down the ground. Sikuke Prasanna bringing out the might. It's a huge six for him. So Akila Dhananji after picking up that wicket, going for two sixes. Yeah, two full from Akila Dhananji. I love Siku Prasanna to get under it. I'll tell you what, Samir, if not for that roof, <laughs> that would have landed right on top of us. For a moment, uh, thought we were a bit of danger, but. We'll live to see another year. It's very good batting here by Sikuke. Yeah, yeah, Two big yeah. shots and a quick single to rotate the strike. Suddenly, even after the loss to the third wicket, Army look like they're in control. 66 for three. Well then, this is what has happened in the previous SLC Major Clubs T20 tournaments held by Sri Lanka Cricket, Badrulia Sports Club being the inaugural champions in 2014-15. Army has won it once before in the 15-16 uh, season. Then you have the NCC, Moors, Colombo Cricket Club and the most recent champions, SSC. What a disappointing tournament this time around. That's shot once again, Sikuge Prasanna. Yeah! And that's taken. Wow, what about that for a catch? Dananjaya Lakshan all the way from long on, covering a lot of ground and getting under that ball beautifully. Holding on to a superb catch to get rid of the dangerous CKK Prasanna. Mudita Lakshan had bowled well and this is reward. But you can't really call that a good ball, can you? Uh, it's a half past six ball. Drag back. But CKK Prasanna didn't get hold of it. Didn't time it at all. Had more of the, uh, had the height more than the distance really. Didn't transfer his weight quick enough to get into a position to put that away. Two short balls have produced two wickets for Mudita and that's a huge wicket because Ami lost two wickets in a hurry and Prasanna scored 11 runs off three balls just before that. Ami 66 for four. is already turning out to be a very intense encounter. We have predicted it to be Army Sports Club being put into bat first. Goals winning the toss. Every time it looked like Army were getting in control, stitching together a partnership, Colts have picked back with a wicket to sort of derail them and a lot of it is largely due to superb fielding by the Colts. We've seen them in the semi-finals, what a good fielding unit they were. And here too, they've taken a superb couple of catchers and they've been generally good in the field. As you can see, few heavy clouds above us so let's hope and pray that that won't come to an effect because keenly contested encounter here some intriguing cricket being played from both sides don't forget that the both these sides came into the final being unbeaten and uh, you mentioned about fielding Samir having looked at those two semi-finals on Wednesday I think the two best fielding sides also here today on Friday this is the last wicket see how we still on his front foot great grab from Lakshan catching has been good ground feeling has been good from Coles so pretty eventful 10 minutes uh, haven't we, uh, hasn't we uh, three wickets six four good strike rate that Ashoda Mendes made his contribution in that semi-final that's an outside edge Ashoda Mendes starting off not so 
convincingly. Mohit Lakshan there bowling well. He did get the wicket off the loose delivery, but other than that, he's been quite tight, especially in the first over. What was the strategy behind uh, Tisarav Pereira staying back in the pavilion, Sami? I suppose he's the kind of guy who likes to come in towards the end. He's, he's not someone who's going to take time to settle down. He's probably holding him back as that finisher. He probably won these two guys. Asali, as we know, Sari Gunaratne is the kind of guy who will knock it around, take those singles, and when needed, he can play those big shots. But I, I suppose Amir is looking at Yasuo there and Asali to now stabilize the innings a bit. Pulled up to about 15, 16 overs, put together a partnership, get to about 110 maybe. And then he can bring out guys like this at a Pereira who can come and really bludgeon away and give them a strong finish. Lots of people in attendance here to the, at the finals. Some big names, some officials, lots of men from the army. Ah, oh, good catch. Has he got an edge? No, he hasn't. That's missed turned everything. a mile. That's turned a mile. That hit the foot marks. Even the wicket keeper missed it completely. Asel Gunaratna. From the off stump, he's chose, chosen to hit that towards the leg side. We all thought that took an outside edge, but that just turned again an outside edge. Did they go for a quick single. Not successful in the end. Right then, another eventful over from Mudita Lakshan comes to an end. 10 overs completed halfway through the arm innings. They are on 71 for, for the loss of four wickets. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. SLC Major League T20 Tanagavali, Avasan Maha Targe, Pisara Ol Piti, the other Pavatene, Yudhamuda Kandama, Colts Kandava Tatra, Yudhamuda Hatta Kai, Kadulu Hatra, Mimote, the Sanakil Siri Activine, Kridangan Tula, Tavat Lakuna Kasel Gunarat, Targe Desia in Amut, Jatan Tradeki Mati, Harita Pereira in Nova, but Samagi, Nibon Harita, Nibon Tamat Hunda. Tarja Palapuru Pueno, in Samai, Nitate Udavilatina, Sanko Yudamuda, break shaking Utkarshad Dinak Akila Dananjegi, Hadula, Ubame Dakini, Lakshani Girisina de Vigi, Kanjura Mahanam Vidual, Kale Libase, Falls. Kandamina <laughs> Lakuna Asail Gunrat Mutai Lakuna Asail Gunratna Manura Surahalu Duhale Pridike and the Pasal in Pamini Kama Jatika Kandam New Dinaka Pridaka Gilanam Karan Puron Silaka Kandami Adeki Mati, Pridaka and Sai and the Nick Yudham the Kandami Kridakarno. Panamila Kuna Vegan Divana, Devan Lakunta Tutsa, Namut, Navatat Pandu, Barakara, the Avastavak, Neha Devani Lakunata. Osan Kadula, the Nurkun, Siku, the Pesan, Lakun Visan Amegata, who will not create a bit of the Pamit Yasu, the Mendizu, Balapitia, Revata Uduale, Adisisu Dakuni Krita can Rasakino, Ada Pitia Mata, Akila Danje, Navatat. I will tell you that the Kalamanakar is a very good thing. I will tell you that the Kalamanakar is a very good thing. I will tell you that the Kalamanakar is a very good thing. I will tell you that the Kalamanakar is a very good thing. I will tell you that the Kalamanakar is a very good thing. I will tell you that the 
उनके प्रयत्नों के बीच में टहल की विशेष इन तीसरा परेरा एवं उनके पीटीएस सिटी होते हैं लाखों नक्कल हैं याशोद मेंनिस हदीस सी प्रहार के कुलेश पीटीएस टाइम नहीं थी बिन्ने नमूत ताव मत एक लाखों ने देखा लगा के न इधर ये टर्गेट नहीं आनवा इनमें एक लस्से नहीं पांडव आ रहे तमाय आवश्यक नहीं अकील धनं जय आतिन आधे दिने विशेष आवश्यकता वाला नफ़ में दाखिन ने युद्ध हम उधर आये इनमें आशान रांधिक वेगवत इनमें कारण बकला ओ इतना मत प्रबल में तरंगावली बैठी में लखनऊ लबागत क्रीड़ा क्या शातकला भी एक कल विद्यालय के विद्यालय आदि सिस्वेक में हो देवी की आकर इतना मत होने इंक्रियात लखनऊ लबागे नहीं मैं आधी वेग के किंसी दुए ना मैं इतना मत थोंद उड़ा पान दूर रखा गया नहीं मा मैं लक्षण इधर सिंगा के देवी आम आकिल तालान दिया हमें इन्हानो तो रुआ सिखों के प्रसन्न दबागे नहीं मट तालान दिया लक्षण थोंद उड़ा पान दूर रखा गया नहीं मा कहूँ इधर ही न पान दुआ बीमा पाती तब Pandu rakyat men saya ni diri entiti nak kanda, am deka kap hamu entiti ni yudah hamu dah kanda mat courts kanda mat pandu awi me venusak, shamod batagi kandawati benua pandu awi mata tarang pahai pandu ar dolhak pamanah yawati benne, pudu meak namut honda pandu awan nik honda anak teteh kat pandu awan nik. Laku me dolhak ada kadul tunai, uwa nagi mata ke hati ata matar Rahul itu hal eh adis situ ek wajah visit dekai pasuk ke tarang ini ti tamat hundin pandu awu, uta wege. Venus kerana puluang itu amat ikhmanin. Ini saya hutau amat. Hanya adanya apa nak laban kalasi ma boh gerakat diwi. Ia lama mati mekida kerana dan bohu vinu joran pulwani tarung mekida kene. Me awasan tarung ikat visusin. Yudamu da kanda mekani. Ini terpermi tarung awal dia dina ati kanda mek sama ke tarung awal dia kapi pun. Pahasuin matalu kerana atur main betul tak asal guna ratna hodih ini handu nak ditipu nama kal paricche dia kalaman nak kerja nak kerana nak kerja tu itu akar. Ada tarung tiri ke Ranjit Priyanta, tadi puduat sahaki di bandar pitiye Vinisurwan, Ravindra Kottachi, atre ke Vinisuru hati itu Kottachi saudara yang hatra dengai, Kapila, Chandrakirti, itu pas se Rohit, Ravindra Bali. सहन दिग्गज नाम तलक मैं तो माय क्रिकेट क्रीड़ा वे अलंकारे श्रीलंका वे क्रिकेट साहित्य के न कथा करने को तो वे बदल हरी में बदल जाते हैं वो तो हम अतिथराम काल बले एक नहीं युद्ध हम दा खंडा है मेरे लाखों नो है ते आटे दा कौन गेनी में हिलाना खाडुलु हाथरक देवी थी बिन्ने अब कथा कला क्रीड़ा साहित्य के ना अनिवार्य इनमें राठक साहित्य टक क्रीड़ा साहित्य तक भी जुट हुई हुआ रहा क्रिकेट पहली बार तो मातके आलू करन नहीं होंगे तंग बदन में लखनऊ लबाग गनी में नीला कुनु पांडु आडू करा गनी में इतामत बदगत इधर हम दावटे हथियार बताइए ना उनके पुण्य का रोज विदेशी � Ia terpana Vega Park Grup Sahik Ban Lakunak. Oh, kelima pandu kadul lewat ini namut. Lakuna awasan asal tayi lakuna. Ada tarungi lakun setan karuan hati ter. Lakun setan purwe situ ni tar ke sandurwan jidam jawinin kau desilba pun polis kandai minin. Apa tu dawai no? Dinas Kumar. Oh, mesiru dina ke? Kau tu me awasan maha tarungi tawat warna wat karna hati. एवागे में प्रेक्षक एंड हरित में तारंगा वाली पुराम आपने दाखिन टले बुने नहीं नमूद आदि दिने युद्धा मुदा प्रेक्षक एंड रेसा का पदाकिन वा पीटे पुराम इन्नो युद्धा मुदा वो क्यों हम इतने लंका वे युद्धा वटे अनुपमीय सेवे अक्लबा देनो अनुप्रह नवतत बैठ के दिवगोस पांडु रख गाना मैं व्यवस्था � Adul lah dan nevat yang mukar ini dua di dawa gani maklaba gan mau. Itam wajah kita tu na Sri Lanka kan dah ni cai gran ini dia di ni di. Oh, sarang ini dia. 
మీ క్రీడాంగిణి రోహిత్ సంఘం క్రీడాంగిణి పిటియ బారవ శక్తిని రంగన్ హీరత్ మా కల్మనాకరు మనోజ్ మెండిస్ పిటియ సకస్కరాన్ని సుశీల్ ఆనంద్ ప్రధాన తనపిలి సకసురు ఆ హెపియట అటు కరుణా డిఎల్ సుశాంత్ పందు రకిన్నే దాయకత్వ హర పందు ఎవన్న ఇహల తలేకట గనీమట హక్కి అవక్తి బెనో కీల అవసాన్య కోచ్ కంద మీ నాయక హీట అఖిల ధనంజే ఇంకా పూనకరు షానుకు దిశా నాయక నాలంద విద్యాలయ యూనియన్ క్రీడాకర ఈ నాలుగు బ్లూ ఫీల్డ్ కంద మేము బాగా తన తీరు సాయన హుంది సక్కసాతి బెన మీ అవసరం తరంగా గుణవేన్ కండాయం దిక్కి జాతిక కండాయం నియోజన కల క్రీడకి ఎన్సిపిన ఇన్సా ఎం ప్రమాణేక కాలుకు నేను నిసా మరి దూవిలి మతు విమక్ బహు దూరట సిద్ధువాన్ని నేక ఇలా అపేక్షా కరండి ఫీల్డ్ వాన్ వాసన్ పూర్వ తరంగే దినేది అప్ప దుట్టు ఆ తరం అక్కు దూవిలు తిబుడు తన తీరు అక్కడ లభునే తరం లకును తిబుడే నహ వినిజ రన్ పూల్ నవ తత్ కెందవ తిబిన ఆ పందు ఎవిమట ఓగే దేవని పందు ఆరేట గత యోహన్ కాండాయమ నియోజనే కర తిబిన ఓహు నాలను విద్యాలయ దినము లవన్ని తవమత్ వేగవత్ పారగడ ఉత్సాహే ఇహిలిన్మ పందు ఎదియన్నే నామోత్ క్రీడకే అవిష్క పెరేరా పెమిన పందు రక గన్నో నవత బారకరద్ది లకును దెకక్ యాషోద మెండి సట అభిష్కత్ వినుజ నాలం విజయాలు యూనియన్ ఇక్కడ క్రీడాకల బాసాయి క్రికెట్ కండ ఆయన వినుజ రన్పూల్ మొరటు వేల్స్ కుమార్ విధుల తమాయి క్రికెట్ క్రీడా పిటియట పివిసుని నానపుర తమాయి హువ్వ నాలం విధుల నియోజనీ కరిమిన్ దెన్ తరంగవాదిని వాళ్ళని తామత్ హతరే పహరాక్నే పసుగే పందు దహాట తులది ఉత్సాహాన్ని అర్ధకీం మద ఇమిజ రన్పుల్ హమ్ వెడిపుర లకు లబాగాన్న ఆకార కెని అన్ని పందు దహ పమున పందు అటక్ పమున ఎవా తిబిన్ లకు దహనమే అవాది తిబిన దెవని హాయపహార ఓకే పందు హమ్ ఎవరస్థావ మీ మొహతే అవస్థ ఉదావిన ఆశల గుణరత్నట ఓకే వేగవత్ పహార వాళ్ళ క్రియాత్మక కరన్నట రన్పుల్ టేరహివ అది పౌసమిన్ సిటీ కోచ్ కండాయమి క్రికెట్ కండాయమి సహాయ లబాదిన కండాయం పిన్ని బంధువు షానుకు దిశా నాయక కానీ కివ్వ పందు అవన్ని పితి కారు ఎక్ మెద పిల్ల దక్ష పందు రకిన్ని దెన్ తమ దక్ష కూన్ కారు ఎక్ కల్మన కారు సంజీవ కడువ తారచ్చి క్రికెట్ లేక మెటీ కొలంబ కోల్స్ కండాయమి కడుతు కరాన్ని మెల్కమ్ పెరేరా దక్ష పూన్ కారు ఎక్ ఇట క్రీడ కేక్ పూర్ణ కరువు అన్న అతర వేడి వాషే నహానిత లభినామా దర్శనీయ శ్రీలంక లోకే అట్ వెదగత్ అట్టి మూదు తీరే 
තාතික් පන් ලකුණක් කිසිදු පන්දුවක් ලකුණකින් තොරව ගෙවියන්නට ඉඩ දෙන්නේ නැහැ මේ පිටිකරුවන් දෙදෙනා ඊටම හොඳයි මේ වෙන විට උන් විශාල පහරවල එල්ල කිරීමට පටන් ගෙන තිබෙනවා කහය පහරක් පමණයි දැන් ඊට අන අනතුරුව උන් උන්ගේ කාර්යභාරය හොඳින් ඉදු කරන ආකාරයක් පෙනියනවා මේ පන්දුවරට පෙර තත්වයයි ඒ सहभा विजयसूर्यवर्धन नवतात मुदित लक्षण वामतें दंग पांडे अभी मट होगे पांडु आर तूने महिता मत होने नवसंक कला खाड़ू लुट देखा कुछ दवा के निबर समाप्त होती बिना वो दाबियों के अकेले कला युद्धा मुदा पितिकारुवा अंत नवतात तासे लगुनरत्न पालमुला कुन वेगे दिव्या ना देवेन लकुन टट फैमिली ना नमु पांडु रखीना तारमक वेल प्रमाणिक अतपसु विमक के लिए अन्न बैन हम तो उड़ा एक इल्ले पंद्रह आपसु लबादी में अपासु ना में युगम तक रेड के इन चारे रिका योगिता भी तमत यह लम्बट टमिन के इन पावतो आगे ना याना पीरिसा इंसान का दुआ तर दीवी में तमत बता गया हम तो उत्साह है कि नमूद पंद्रह रखा गया नहीं मटे है क्या वाला बुने धनंजयरा रग्बी पापंधु एवं पापंधु खंडायाम क्रीडा वॉलीबॉल हॉकी बोल खंडायाम जाति मट में क्रीड के रसक सहित उदाम उदाव ये खंडायाम क्रीडा वाले नियतवाण ने मे दिन वाले मट में पापंधु तरंगा वाले प्रयत्न तुम साथी तक
යුදාමදා කණ්ඩායම මෙතෙක් අෂාන් රන්දික සහ තුලින දිල්ෂාන් ආරම්භ කළේ ඉනිම ලකුණු 22ක් අෂාන් රන්දිකට ලැබුණා සීකුගේ ප්‍රසන්න ඊටමත් හොඳ ඉනිමක් ක්‍රීඩා කළා වේගයෙන් ලකුණු 29ක් පන්දු 20ක් තුලදී මේ වන විට අසේල ගුණරත්න සමගින් යශෝද මෙන්ඩිස් පිටිය මත හොඳ සම්බන්ධතාවයක් ඇති කරගන්න තිබෙනවා අවසානයේ වෙනුවෙන් ඉහළ අඩිතාලමක් නිර්මාණය කරමින් තිසර පෙරේරා ලක්ෂාන් ගමගේ වේගයෙන් පන්දුවට පහර දිය හැකි පිටිකරුවන් දෙදෙනෙක් තවමත් පිටියට පැමිණිලා නැහැ යුදාමදා වෙනුවෙන් පන්දු යවීමේදී සංගීත් කුරේ පන්දු යවීම ආරම්භ කළේ කඩුලු දෙකක් දවා ගැනීමට සමත් වූ පන්දු යවන්න තමයි මුදිත ලක්ෂාන් ඔහු දඟ පන්දුවෙන් සෑහෙන අභියෝගයක් එල්ල කළා යුද හමුදා පිටිකරුවන්ට ඒ වගේම අකිල ධනංජය තරගාවලියේ වැඩිම කඩුලු ලාභය ඔහු තද දිනේ කඩුලක් දවා ගත්තා තවත් පන්දු වරයක් තිබෙනවා ඔහුටත් චමොත් පත්තගේ සහ සංගීත් කුරේ කඩුලු හත බැගින් දවා ගෙන තිබෙනවා මුදිත ලක්ෂාන් කඩුලු 11යි अखिल धनंजय लबागत कडलू दास तरंगेट पेर पांडुलाकुणुरंगेट पेर संख्या तरंगे संपूर्ण गौरव सह वास संगीत कुरेट दिए वेगे पार एल करवकेट नियमित पारधि पांदुंदन दर्शन करीम पतित आसन्न पांदु रखे अलंकार पांदुअ दिसेटी युदा मुदा खंड लाकुण सी आई पास का तीसरा पेरेरा जाते अंतर मार्ट में मेवे नियावस्था वन रैसर के दी श्रीलंका वे इनीम बेगोत कल पितिकारु नेवता तो होगी आवस्था व युद्ध हम उधर खंडाय में टा नायक तो इनीम अक्रिडा किरी में टा अड़ी ताल में साका स्वीति बिनवा युद्ध हम उधर खंडाय में वेनुएन लाखों नुसिया काडुलु पाह दिन उत्साह 
ඔව් එතරම් කලවෙලයක් නැහැ තිසරට ලකුණ ලබා ගැනීම ආරම්භ කරනවා එම පහරත් සමගින් ඇත්තටම මේ නවක ක්‍රීඩකයන් ආධුනිකයන් මෙවැනි පිටිකරුවන්ට එවැනි ලෙසින් පන්දු යැවීම නිර්භයව පන්දු යැවීම ඊටමත් වැදගත් ඔබ කිව්වත් වගේ ඒ දෙවන පන්දු ඔරේ ඔහු ඊටමත් අලුත් මේ මට්ටමේ ක්‍රීඩාවට අපි දකින්නේ අවසන් පූර්ව තරගයේදී තිසර පෙරරා වාර්තා කළ නොදැවුණු අර්ධ ශතකය සරසන් ක්‍රීඩකයන්ට කිසිම ඉස්පාසුවක් ලබා දුන්නේ නැහැ අද තත්ත්වේ වෙනස් වෙන්න පුළුවන් මේ තන තීරුවේ හැටියා හැකියාවක් ඇතුව අපරාජිත කණ්ඩායම් දෙකක් තරඟ වදින්න අසේල ගුණරත්න අලංකාර වශයෙන් පන්දුව ක්‍රීඩකයන් දෙදෙනාට ඉහළින් යොමු කරනවා නමුත් පන්දුව එක තැන පතිත වන්නේ එතනින් එහාට ගමන් කරන්නේ නැහැ සමහර විට තනකොළවල තද භාවය වන්නට පුළුවන් පන්දුව අරේ අවසන් පාලුස්සනි පන්දුව අරේ අවසානයේදී 103යි කඩුලු 5යි යුද හමුදා කණ්ඩායම Jay Lakshan bowled uh, two overs with the new ball. Now uh, being brought back uh, in the death overs, uh, Gamini. Match is even, boys, isn't it? 15 overs, 103 for five. You have a world-class uh, power hitter, a young bowling attack. Uh, 30 balls remaining. Interesting uh, face in this game. No pace uh, at all from uh, Dhananjay Lakshan. Yeah, good morning, Tanvit. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, you mentioned about world-class abilities of Tisara Pereira. We all saw that in the semi-finals. That was the difference in that semi-final. Army getting through to the final. Lakshan. Wow, 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 we. That is the wicket. That calls wanted desperately. Tisara Pereira, the game changer from the semi-final. I think he was undone by the previous ball. He is looking. He's a guy who looks to uh, looks to uh, look uh, the pace on the track. Ball coming onto the track. Lakshan very cleverly bowled. A good catch too. Hashan Dumindu completing uh, the wicket. Tisara Pereira departs. That's a big wicket. Army Sports Club loses their captain, 103 for six. Goals are right back in this. Tisara Damit scored one of five balls. Like I mentioned, he's a guy who likes to feel bad on ball and he likes to pace on the ball. And good captaincy from Akhila Dhananjaya because he kept the spinners away from Tisara Pereira. Patum Mahesh got, got a bit of work to do. Good strike rate. He, he wouldn't mind about that average 17.42. That will be good enough. The last five overs, 37 is higher score. They yeah, are calls. Give credit to calls captaincy. Certainly kept his opponent out of his comfort zone. That's another edge. Well, two in two, and Tisara, and now Asela. What a spell from uh, Dan Jalakshan. Coming back with the old ball, and he has uh, dismissed two of the most experienced players for Sri Lanka Army. That time, he was undone with the pace and the bounce. Asela Gunratna didn't expect that. Excellent work from uh, Coles Cricket Club here. 
Yeah, that ball pitch around that shiny mark on the pitch, just outside the off. Stamp to the right hand. Gunnarath was living dangerously. He's gone for 15 of 18. 103 for 7. Suddenly there are two batters, Damit, yet to face a single ball. What a time for Coles to have two new batsmen who haven't faced a ball in the 16th over, in the business end of the innings. Patum Boteju is uh, the new batter. Boteju is here because of this. Asela Gunaratma. After the dismissal of Tisela Pereira, Army would have uh, liked to have him till the end. But Dalanjay Lakshan, he has come back and has picked up two crucial wickets. Coles Cricket Club now clearly dominating this game. Atum Boteju is uh, the new batter. Yeah, that was a comfortable look looking drive. First ball he faced, so he certainly no mark with the bat, is he? But, like I mentioned, Coles, we're looking at defending 140, 150, who knows? Even 160, while Asela Gunaratna and Tisera Pereira are out there in the middle. But sadly, both of them gone in two balls. Open the bottom hand. Got a good piece of that one. So couple to start with. Yeah, it will be very important for Patu Manboteju. Both of these batters to stay busy. As we know, after this ball, there will be only four overs left. Need to get close to at least 130, damn it, to make a match out of it. See that last five or six deliveries, very eventful. Two wickets. Not a lot of boundaries, is there? In the last 18 balls, not a single boundary. Yeah, the boys from uh, Havelock Town have done a decent job so far. That should be just a single for Kumara. A very successful over comes to an end from Dalan Jalaksha and 107 for 7 Army. Danja will uh, complete his quota of four overs. Uh, look at that. Papa de Bands, courtesy of uh, the Sri Lankan Army. They're not in uh, a good position, but uh, they have given us plenty of entertainment here at uh, Pisara Oval. Akhle Danja is final over. Googly to start off. They need to run between the wickets hard, these two players. Both uh, Patum Kumara and Patum Boteju. Okay. They need to calculate uh, the rest of the 23 deliveries done. Okay. If they manage to Sanjay. get a single each, they'll Aba. still get 232. That should be the target for me. Yeah, good start to the over. Two okay. of the first ball. Top ball. Well, like you said, run a ball, we'll get them to 131. If they will bat the next two overs, play the, till the last 10 balls, who knows, another couple of boundaries will get them close to 140. But at least 130 from here on end, that's what Army are looking for. Poles will be looking to minimize the damage, but certainly they did. They made a huge dent on their 
uh, innings, the army batting innings in that last over. Tisara Pereira and Asile Gunrat the falling in two deliveries. Plenty of support for army, as you said, uh, Damit. That is my favorite place. Yeah, lovely pictures. If you are watching this, and uh, you should definitely visit Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, one of the best destinations for tourists. You can watch cricket, you can uh, surf in the beaches. And, uh, plenty of uh, cricket in action coming your way, courtesy of Sri Lanka Cricket, organizing all these tournaments. We have the Lanka Premier League coming up. We have uh, four test matches after the conclusion of uh, the ongoing ODI uh, series between Sri Lanka and Australia. Good over from Akhle Dalanje. So Nelson on the board. Hirapishli just fall in front of the long off field. It's the five off. Five off the seventeenth. One one two for seven. You just mentioned the um, those lovely pictures of this beautiful island, um, Damit. I have to comment about the effort made by Sri Lanka cricket. That's the first wicket. Very good one too. That was a terrific catch. Beaten for speed. Long hop straight to deep mid wicket. Another good catch. That was a brilliant catch. And then in two balls, Pereira caught at long off. And Gunaratna caught behind. Those are the wickets. Start of the 18th. That again coming from the other end. Good ball from this uh, young lad from uh, Matara. Chamot Bhattage. Interesting ball, that, damn it. Stayed down. That's why it's more important for these two batters to get that total 130. Point that I was on, uh, damn it, uh, with all the situation that is going around the country, the effort that this Sri Lanka cricket has made to help in any way. They donated $2 million just a week or so. All the proceedings from these matches will go towards that cause as well. Here's another good over from uh, Bartage. I was quite surprised uh, that um, Lakshan Gamge wasn't sent above uh, these two players. Uh, Gamge is a player who can uh, clear the ropes uh, quite convincingly. Yeah, you know it. Your school it certainly can strike a ball, can't can it, Lakshan Gamge? This is what they do want. Dot balls, army. Most of the fielders in the circle. Oh, that's pretty close. What did he get? Let me. So every time if you get some bat onto the Um. 15 balls remaining in the army innings. Another slower delivery from Batage. Okay, this is going to be an interesting game. Yes, uh, Coles have done well with the ball. But uh, Gami sometimes in T20 cricket, momentum makes uh, a huge difference. If uh, Army can sneak in another 15 to 20 runs, they'll have the momentum on their side. 
when they come out to defend it. But if uh, Coles can complete these innings uh, rather quickly, they will still have their momentum on their side. But nevertheless, Sri Lanka Cricket Major Clubs T20 Tournament, the final. If you are watching this uh, from wherever you are, thanks for joining in on uh, Sri Lanka Cricket YouTube as well as on the papare.com. And if you are watching at the comfort of your home on uh, Dialogue Television Channel number 140, Coles Cricket Club won the toss. They elected to bowl first and they've done a pretty decent job with the ball. I think the difference Gamini has been their field. They've uh, hung on to most of their chances. It's been uh, really important to their cause. Neatly hit away, but Tavishka Pereira does the fielding. Just a single for Boteju. 18 completed, 116 for 7. One one six for seven. Army were going great guns at one point in time. In the first ten overs, they totally dominated. But the last eight overs or so, that certainly belongs to Coles. Our stats guru, Dinesh Kumar, tells us that the boundary has not been scored for the last five overs. Happy birthday, Dinesh Kumar, stats guru. So they said from Dinesh Kumar after the game, <laughs> Dhananjay Lakshad, another slower delivery. They're running in for the second one. Avishka Pereira is usually a wicket keeper, but uh, doing the work in the field now. This is good from Dhananjay Lakshad. His last over, penalty met over in these innings. 11 balls remaining. Yeah, it's T20 cricket and uh, cannot get to a reasonable score without scoring boundaries, Gavin. Again, we're bold. Slow uh, bouncer. He's a cunning customer. Dhananji Lakshan has played cricket all over the place and got a bit of experience behind him. Yeah, take nothing away from the bowling effort and the fielding effort. And also led well by Akhila Dhananjay. The bowling changes have kept the army batsman in check. That's on the full and received the correct punishment. Slow delivery that got the army boys back on their feet. There you are. The dancing shoes on. Yeah, the leg cut had gone wrong from Dhananjay Lakshan. Easy pickings for Boteju. Much needed the maximum for the soldiers. Still have nine balls remaining in these innings. That's it. Dhananjay Lakshan comes back with the wicket. Look at that eyes. That's his third wicket. Boteju departs after a little time here of 12 runs of 8 deliveries. It's the 8th wicket down. The look on his face, Damit. I think more in anger. Because the ball before was dispatched for 6. Half past 6 ball, waist high full toss. But then the effort ball. Beaten for speed, good length too. Boteju, he goes for 12. Army now 124 for 8.
Akshan Ramage, the new batter. Like yeah. I mentioned a few moments ago, Damit is a good striker to pick up ball, but Dharanjay Lakshan is bowling pretty well, good control, and he's got all the variations out. Got decent figures, 3 for 25. He liked to pick up a wicket in his last ball. Swing and a miss. Terrific spell from Dhananjay Lakshan. So end of the 19th over. Army Sports Club, 1-2-4 for four, eight. Lakshan Dhananjay is a part of uh, that Josephian uh, outfit a couple of uh, seasons ago. And we will uh, hopefully see many of uh, these youngsters with the big matches coming up. Ananda Naranda, Prince of Wales and Sebastians, Isipatana Thurston with the Royal Thomian, the Joe Pete, plenty of uh, big match action coming your way in uh, July and in August. So hopefully these games will uh, provide uh, excellent uh, cricketing action. Stay tuned on the papare.com as we bring uh, all these pictures. Last over coming up, Chamod Bhattage. Oh, that's a reverse sweep. Wow. Patum Mahesh Kumara has uh, reverse swept it for a six. Terrific. Clever and courageous. Pace on the ball, length he wanted. Got into a good position too. And good hands. Ticks all the boxes. Watched the ball all the way to the bat. Terrific shot. Good start to the last over from uh, Patum Kumara. Straight away a change in the field. Brings up uh, the deep square leg field into the circle and pushes the short third man to the fence. Gets down on one knee. He was looking to go over square leg just a moment ago. Square leg was brought inside the circle. He's looking to play the field. Patum Nisanka. Army. He's lost their way somewhat. 26 or 4 in the last 5 overs. I reckon still this is a competitive total, uh, Damit. I mentioned in the pitch report, as the ball gets older, it makes it even more difficult to score runs because the pace just goes right off the track. Kai who has variations will be pretty difficult to put away. That's up in the air. That will fall in between the long off fielder coming back for the second now. Decided against that. Again, well bowled. And don't forget that this is a final and you're in a run chase. You can play funny games in your mind when you're under pressure. Rakshan Gamage didn't get the right timing and the elevation on that delivery. But yes, three balls remaining. Whatever Army can get, that will be very valuable when they come out to defend. Another short delivery. Ravindura Santa, he went for the catch, but uh, four runs. Couldn't get his body behind it. Wide hill runs from uh, Patum Kumara here. Yeah, unlucky. Very unlucky. I feel for him. It's a horrible feeling. Attacking field, uh, Ramindu Rashanta. I think he was just in doubt whether to go for it or not. Just unlucky. Didn't have the body behind it. I have to cope up with the bad bounce. Round the wicket this time. That's up in the air. Height more than the distance, field getting under it. Good technique. That's Akhila Dhananje. So Patake uh, picks up his second. Army losing their nine. 
Patum, that's a good little hand that is. That's 19 or 14. That's a good hand. Considering the situation that they were in. This Gami Patum Boteju, Patum Kumar, both of them have uh, a little cameo towards the end. Good catch by the captain. He departs uh, Kumar. 19 of 15, Army 136 for 9. Gayan Chandra Bose is uh, the new batsman, but uh, Lakshan Gamage will face the final delivery. 136 for 9, Army. Hit away. Oh! Both of them, Avishka Pereira and Vinu Jaranpul going for it, and uh, in the meantime, Army have. Uh, Scraped through three runs. So that's very vital runs in the end, setting a target of 140 in this final. Another slow ball from uh, Chamot Bhattage. Yeah, like you mentioned, Damit, how vital these three runs. The result could have been easily a wicket for Coles. Pereira, or what's it, Rampol going against it, against the fly to the ball, but that would have been an easy catch for Pereira who was coming in. So six run turnaround really. How vital that could be. 139 for nine. Coles will have to go exactly at seven runs per over if they want to win that cup. The last two overs, Army put up a good show. They were seven down. The last three overs actually. So they scored well, more than run a ball. Actually, they were 28 runs of the last three overs. This is the card. Ashan Randika looked dangerous up until he got run out. 22. First three batsmen getting into double figures. Prasanna looked dangerous as well. 29. Then Asela Gunaratna and Nashoda Mendis also uh, put up a little partnership. 21 and 15 respectively. And then lost two wickets in two balls. And then came Patum and Boteju. For the last three overs, they got Army into a very respectable position considering what the wicket is 19 and 12. Just the two extras call for very discipline in their bowling as well as in their catching and ground fielding. 139 for 9. Dhananjal Akshan, pick up the bowlers, 11 dot deliveries. Mujita Lakshan, he too picked up two. Akila Dhananja, he was economical along with uh, Chamod Bhattage. They were at one stage, 100 for four. Since then, they have lost uh, five quick wickets. 139 for nine, Coles. They'll need to score 140 to win this SLC Major Clubs T20 tournament. Let's uh, take a look at some of the highlights from that innings of uh, Army. Ashan Randika started off brilliantly. He smashed a couple of sixes. As Gamini mentioned, he looked uh, dangerous. But against the run of play, that was his second six of uh, Sangeet Kure. Against the run of play, he was run out by some good work from another Randika, Vishad. That time, the wicket keeper for Coles. Since then, uh, one of the batters uh, found. Uh, any momentum to make a big run. They all got starts. Tulina Dilshan that time, along with uh, Sikuki Prasanna. As soon as the spinners came on, it was very tough going for Ku Army. They feel that well, that was uh, Akhle Dananja trapping uh, Lakshan Idris in a plum in front. Been very impressed uh, with the fielding effort of uh, Coles. Dananja Lakshar. He was very good in the field and with the ball. Some good catchers, isn't it, Gar? Yes, certainly. Very commendable effort on the field. Great catching. It's a good running catch again. He can keep it in a decent top, top two. 
for everything that came his way. That was a gimme. Second last over. Very next ball. Had his man, Tananjay Lakshan. That was a terrific shot too. In the context of the game, six runs. Ten runs off two balls. And then the last one. Or one before, wasn't it? And then three runs off the last ball because of the collision between deep square leg and short fine leg, keeping their eyes on the ball. It will be an interesting reply from Coles. How they approach the run chase, uh, Damit. Don't go anywhere. Lock this in, boys. Yeah. Coles need uh, 140 runs to win the SLC Major Club's T20 tournament. Stay tuned. We will be back shortly with the run chase. the excitement real time be up to date with it all let us capture your milestones get it sizzling hot off the turf hear the experts break it down dig deep into the nitty-gritty be inspired by their greatness relive all the scintillating action Mata Kotavila Gumpy as a Tavilla. Sipadasa at Mora to a Piagama Mahindra Rajpa, Kidanga, Kilakumahana Sukadasa Indo Stadium is the Fox Hill Supercross. Trunagala City, Atubal Puravare, Papa to come up here in Norelia Pradesh. Final showdown, Candy Sports Club, Pernaru, Jati Sankarni City. real time be up to date with it all let us capture your milestones 
get it sizzling hot off the turf. Here, the experts break it down, dig deep into the nitty gritty, be inspired by their greatness, relive all the scintillating action. It's a sport that brings smiles on our faces. Cricket in all its glory. This is the finals of the SLC Major Clubs T20 Tournament 2022. Army vs. Colts is what we're bringing you live and exclusive here from the P. Sara Stadium in Colombo. The finals of this tournament. What has been a month-long, two-month-long tournament. Very intensely played out between all the clubs, the premier clubs of Sri Lanka cricket. And today, it's right down to this. The final innings of the entire tournament, the second innings of Army versus Coles after having to, after having won the toss, Coles put the Army, put the soldiers into bat and they managed only 139. Some might argue that's good enough on this pitch. What has been a two-paced one, not the easiest to bat, but we'll wait and see how Coles reply. I say good morning, about 20 minutes to go until we hit 12 o'clock, Harita Pereira. Yes, same to you, uh, Samir. Yes, uh, it's a fine situation. Laksha and Damage, there are so many Tatums and Dilchans and Lakshans in the two teams. You have to get it right, Laksha and Damage to Josephian. Quite a few Josephians as well, yeah, yeah. including the Sri Lankan cricket team. Some of them doing really well. Yeah, anyway, right. our focus is now on the tournament that's at hand. Lakshan Gamage then with the first ball of the second innings. Nice shape. So the um, man from Morotua, Sangeet Kure, St. Sebastian's College where he played his cricket. He's a top run scorer for Coles in this tournament, 194 runs, including a best of 83. And he'll add to that, he'll add to that with a boundary. Spraying down the leg side, Lakshan Gamage and Sangit Kure for a man who's in form, he's not going to miss out on that. Yeah, he has hit 10 fours before this. This was his 11th of the tournament. He's also hit 9 sixes. That's a nice way to get off the start. Lose a bit of a freebie there by Lakshan Gamage. He's generally a good bowler, he's always on the money. Obviously, not easy to always come back in and find your target immediately. Oh, that's a nice ball, that's a nice comeback. Gets the outside edge, but unfortunately for him, the wicket keeper diving to his left couldn't hold on to it. Patum Kumara is 23 years old from Gurukula Kalania. Ooh, that's a straightforward catch. He's sporting jersey number 23, equal to his age. Important 19 runs at the death. Yeah, he scored 36 runs in the last five overs. That's nice and straight again. Straight to the field. Uh, the, the previous ball, that chance that was down, I'm not sure Sawat Sangeet Kure was trying to do there. Nothing shot really. He was lucky there to survive and he want to make use of the chance that they've given him. He's a good batter. Yeah, he's the highest score of 83 for the 27-year-old. 24 matches, strike rate of over 100, decent average of almost 24. That's cut away, that's cut away nicely. The fielder is down at third man, so he won't be able to cut it off. So another boundary for Sangit Kure, this time much more in control. A very good shot. He has been good uh, at the top of the order in all formats for the Havelock Park Cup. He gets going. It will be a tough ask for the bowlers. Very well in position. Perfect timing. Superb placement. Colts have relied on these two to get them to a good start. That's over the top. That's nicely hit and that will go all the way for a six. Lakshan Gamage. A little too full there on this wicket. That's inviting trouble. 
A splendid way to end the first over. A good start for Colts. They were superb. 14 runs is big. He saw the overpitch delivery. He saw the slower delivery. Picked it up very early. So Lakshan Gamage taken to the cleaners. Good start for Colts in chase of that 140. They've started off with a 14 for none in the first over. Vishad Randhika is the other batter who's partnering with Sangeet Kure. He'll want to add on to his tally as well. A decent strike rate. He want to improve on that average of 16. It's down the left side, called the wide. Lakshan Edri Singh is the new bowler. He was, amongst, well. the, he was amongst the wickets uh, and amongst the runs in the semi-final. Reliable cricketer, but this was a poor start. Vishad Randhika from Isipatana. Lakshan was impressive in that semi final. Scored about 20 odd runs and then picked up a very good couple of wickets. Put his team in a comfortable position. Army have a very good bowling lineup and they look, they'll be confident that they can defend this 139 that they've put up. That's high up in the air. Will that be taken? Yes, it will be. So the first wicket falls for Colt CC. Vishad Ramdika looking to play that sweep behind square, but managed to only get a top edge there. He had scored 142 runs for his team before, but this was a poor shot. He's been good behind the wickets. He had to be good be in front of the wickets too. Took it from outside off stump. Well judged catch in the end. No need to play a shot like that. There's absolutely no need. They had got off to a good start, but they lose their first wicket. Vishad goes for a duck. Colts are 15 for one. The soldiers needed that wicket after that uh, prolific uh, over for Colombo Coles. Gayan Chandra Bose, no mistake at uh, short fine leg. Ravindu Rasanta, another talented youngster, can bat well. He'll want to now partner Sangeet Kure, who's got off to a good start here. What Coles need is to stitch together a good partnership, frustrate the bowlers, don't give them wickets, and they'll realize that the loose balls will come as the bowlers get desperate for wickets because Army need to pick the wickets to keep stay in the game. Ooh, a bit of miscommunication there, could have been some trouble. But the length that Lakshan Edir Singh is bowling, Haritha, is quite nice on this wicket. That's what you have to do. Invite the batter to the front foot, ask him to make the play, not give away freebies, not too short, not too full. He seems to have read this pitch well so far, Lakshan Edir Singh. Not that time though. Yeah, the boy from Anuradhapura Central who subsequently played for Zaira Colombo will a depending performer for the soldiers. Spinning quite a bit now here. Hard to be in control. That's been called a wide down the leg side. So almost pitched on the off stump there. Mm. Is that taken? No, it's not an opportunity there. You could call it a half chance. Had to dive to his right almost as soon as he finished his delivery. Interesting that. What is he trying to do? Ravindu Rasanta has scored 126 runs for his team this tournament, including that top score of 46. This time, much more assured, Rasanta. Puller onto his pads, he pushes that to the field at deep pit wicket for a single. So, good over here by Lakshan Edir Singh. He's bowled very well. Just a couple of three wides, in fact, are contributing to that four runs he has given away. Picked up that wicket of Vishad Ramdika. Now he'll bowl to the left hand, Sangeet Kure. 
Sangeet needs to be there. I know you need to score at seven runs and over, but he needs to bat there for long enough. Yeah, sensible. You want to get an eye in against a spinner first before they look to attack him. Two overs completed, 18 for one. All right, then lots of cricket going on. We have the Australians visiting Sri Lanka, the A-team test matches going on and also exciting cricket coming up. LPL Season 3, the third edition takes place on the 31st of July all the way up to 21st of August. The first few games will be played in Colombo at the Premadasa and then moves on to Hambantota. Currently, the overseas player registration is taking place. We're looking forward to some big names to come here, take part in this tournament. A few categories. And the registration can take place on the Sri Lankan cricket website before 12 p.m. on the 23rd of June. So lots of exciting cricket coming up, Haritha. Yeah, the tournament director Samantha Dudangala is expected to be at the board's presentation at the completion of this game. What an opportunity for him, chairman of the tournament committee of Sri Lanka cricket, taking over from uh, Vice President uh, Ravin Vikramaratna, who did the hard work, the groundwork uh, for the success of LPL. I was hearing, hearing him speak recently on a show, Mr. Dodamwala, and he has some good plans for the domestic uh, setup. They've uh, revamped a lot of things, come up with some good ideas to sort of make it more competitive. He should have his uh, flair and flavour. He's a tea taster. Nice play. Rashad Mendes is into the attack. Interesting, two fast bowlers in just the third over. Different approach here from Army. You would generally find that on wickets like this, you'd like to have spinners coming on early in the game, especially after that successful over from Lakshana Edri Singh. Huh? Uh, that's Roger Vijay Surya, the uh, Sri Lanka Army coach. Wonder what words he would have shared with the boys after that batting innings. Maybe you can get much. into his mind. Not much, I'll tell you that. He will have a lot to say after the game. <laughs> That's a good ball. That's the kind of length you want to be on. Creating the doubt in the batter's mind, whether to go to the back foot or the front foot, not too sure. You don't want to hit through the line and be a little too early on it. Yashoda Mendes has bowled well. 14 wickets in 13 games. Best of 4 for 26, 29 years of age. So, got some experience behind his back. In this tournament, he's picked up 12 wickets. So he's done well with the bat and ball for Army. Beautiful pictures, aren't they? Thanks to the drone. Bringing you very different angles of a game. It's like a bird's eye view. Sangit Kure gets off the strike now. Boy from Revata College, Palapitiya. Making a name for himself, learning all the time. I was also impressed with Chamot Bhattage. He would have had a third wicket in that last over. It would have been big for him to bowl that last over. The uh, captain to have the confidence to give the ball to him. It didn't work out uh, pretty well for himself after conceding that uh, reverse swept six to Patum Kumar. Yeah, Bhattage is someone that uh, holds a lot of potential, plays for soft logic in the mercantile tournament. Away, but again straight to the fielder so you can see on this track it's not the kind of wicket where you can just hit through the line the ball just holds a touch on the on the pitch you've got to have your technique perfect minimizing the dot deliveries is a key aspect Ravindu Rashanta hit uh, two massive sixes on the onside in the previous innings Pulls it away this time, but again, there is protection there. A deep square leg. There will be another single. And you're right, yes, that's one thing that they need to do. They keep, need to keep ticking that scoreboard. Don't get bogged down. They've got a decent start thanks to that first over. Required run rate still hovering in that seven per over region. They'll want to make sure they keep ticking the scoreboard. Get that boundary every once in a while. Punish the loose balls. Take calculated risks. Lots of army personnel in attendance today. Their team is playing in the finals. Obviously, they'll be cheering them on. Get the impression they're trying to hit it too hard here. Three overs done. 21 for one.
not for the uh, fuel crisis, probably a lot more would have attended coming all the way from Panagoda and things like that. Lots of chaos outside the stadium. See Colombo. Lots of fuel lines everywhere. But it's good to see the cricket taking place, not being affected by it. Sri Lanka cricket have somehow managed to put together this tournament successfully and you've got to give them credit. Not just this, even the international tournament, the international team is in action. It's bringing a lot of joy to the Sri Lankan public in these difficult times. Last night's victory was one to savor. The game at um, Surya Weber, very well poised for the last day. We are an official four-day game. Steps forward, Rasanta, but unable to make a good connection. Like you said, he got off to a good start in that semi-final, played a couple of very nice-looking shots, but today seems to have got bogged down a bit. Different instructions from Shanuga Disanaga, I uh, believe the uh, experienced coach for Colombo Coles. They missed out uh, on a championship because of the weather in the three-day format in the semi-final. Cut away, but again straight to the field. This is good bowling. The uh, variation available for Tessera Pereira is such that um, he could uh, do a lot of wonders. That's in the gap. It does beat the fielder, but I don't think it will go to the boundary. No, it doesn't. As we said in the morning, this outfield is still a little damp, so fielders should be able to chase down if it's not been hit very hard past the 30-yard circle. Most of these army players have done very well and gained a lot of experience in the Army Commanders League T20 tournament. It was again a very successful tournament that one. Found out quite a few good young cricketers in that tournament. 116 more for Colts. They'll have to keep that scoreboard ticking. Lakshan Edrasinga applying the pressure here, not giving away easy runs. Cuts it away again. This time it's in the gap. Again, though, the fielder will cut it off, but the batters are able to cross over for a double that time. It's the end of the fourth over, then. Army have pulled back things a little bit. 26 for 1. Mahadevan Satasyam Stan, what a player he was. I've not seen him, but read so much about him. He and Don Bradman, the Sir Donald Bradman, has played here. So it's a hallowed prison. Top officials from Army and Coles watching the cricket. So Mr. Madhivan and there a lot a while ago. Yes, the annals of history speak about the likes of Mr. Sata Sivam, but a great batter he was. Yashoda Bendis then will continue. Rasanta has struggled to get going 4 of 8 here. Again, not in full control, but he does get that past the fielder. And that will run away to the boundary, so not a very well-timed shot. The bat turning on his hand, however, he does get a result. First boundary for him. That should ease a lot of uh, pressure of uh, Ravi Durasanta. Used his feet to get to the pitch of the ball, getting onto the front foot. Didn't try to go aerial, that's where he did well. Got a good part of the bat, although not the full middle, but he did get a good part of the bat onto that. Yeah, so this isn't express pace. This time it's over the top and again away from the fielders. There is a fielder down there, deep square leg, who will do the cutting off and that could have been close. Better throw and Sangit would have been in trouble trying to finish that double there. You have to take a few chances, but uh, this is good. That was intentionally played in the air, luckily. 
those dark clouds have blown away before Ashan Randika could uh, get in and uh, collect it. Uh, I think uh, Sangeet Kure had measured up his return for the second. Again, he steps forward and hits that in the air. That could be taken. Yes, it is. Sir Rasanta looking to go aerial two times in a row now. Previous delivery fell short of the fielder, but this time it's straight to Asel Gunaratna, who's at mid-off and takes that catch comfortably. That was very well taken. He had to go back for a long way. Just take a look at how the fielder is setting himself up for the catch. You wouldn't probably know it. Still, eyes on the ball. He didn't turn back. And uh, that's his agility. That's great stuff. 36-year-old. Rasanta has to walk back. 10 of 11 for him. The short stay at the crease comes to an end. 32 for 2, the Colts. Trouble now for Colts. They've lost a couple of wickets very quickly inside the power play. 32 for two, chasing 140 here. We said Army have a decent bowling lineup who can defend that 139 and their bowlers. Fast bowler Yashoda Mendes has picked up one. And so new batsman is Avishka Pereira. Good to see him at the top of the order. Not uh, very big stats, but uh, he's a much better player than those. Uh, that are actually appearing. Nalanda College captain of a couple of years back. 21 year old. Another quick single attempt. The attempt required a few of these. A couple of them have been close, but so far, no damage because of the run. So Sangit Kure opting to get that quick one and getting the new batter on strike, Avishka Pereira. Someone who's carried a lot of potential with him from his school days. If he gets going, it will be a treat to watch. He's a daring, dashing batsman. And the left hand, right hand combination could work actually in favor of uh, the Havelock Park Club. Ashwin Mendy's previous delivery, bowling that leg cutter slow ball. Good skill to have on wickets like this. What happened there? Did he stop because the batsman moved away or the umpire is confused too? Was there some activity behind the side screen? Give the Bandara. It looks like somebody was standing behind the bowler's arm. Ground staff, because of this, there are clouds gathering. No, it's never good news when the ground staff are hovering around behind the boundary line. We hope that the rains do wait until we have done with this game. Don't mind some rain, but after the game. And the gap behind point now for a single. Lavish Pereira gets off the mark. It's two wickets that they've lost. 39 for one, what uh, Army made over the first... Uh, Six overs, was five overs rather. Sangit Kure, it's very important that uh, he sticks around there. That's another quick single attempted, but quite comfortably in the end. Yes, Sangit holds the key for Colts. They'll want him to bat through and see them through to get them a victory in this final. 105 needed in the last 15 overs, 35 for two, the Colts. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. I won Pridaloli Mitro Mitrini. 
Colts Kandama Saha, Yuga Muda Kandama Tarapatena, Sri Lanka Cricket, Antar Samaja Visa Visa Cricket, Tarangavali Avasan Maharange, Samagayoba, Navata Sajiva Lese Kasuani, Columba Pisara, all three Dangani City, Tamat Honda, Taranga Kriadmu, Pavatino, Maven Vita, Kandam de Gatra. I born a sunker. I born Sachin, Katagar in Sitina Tura, Gan Chandrubos can do Atigana, Pandi Avimeter, Taragame Kadulu. Labaga the Haki Pandiavanik Sanka Avasan Pura, Taranga Pertunu, Tanatiru Matama, me, Avasan Mahataranga Pert, and Hebe, Etara gave Pertunu Tanatiru Rada, Taramak, other Tanatiru Venus Yam Sahana Tibena, I dart a sapic show, Pitikar one Namut Yudhamudakan, Damut Loku, Lakun, Ranaka, Yamat Haka, Kabine, Ikman Lakuna, Lakuna Sartakai. Oh, there's an Abdutua Kridan than a Karavana Karuan, Tanatiru Sakasanan, Jale Yoda, Hodin Tali, but Lakala, may Ikman Lakuna. Oh, Sartaka Karagata on Etheram Tarjan activity, hey, Malakuni, then Tanatiru and Katagradi, Etamai Mahitani, Mehi Sartak Bavit Hetu, Hodin Lakunu Tibino, Mehi over Yanan to Pandu to Pahari, not to the Mudaharna, Sangi Kure, who Tama Terumarak and Tibino, Matanatiru, but. Randy City has given Lakhonu Tibi number. Oh, Lakhonu, because he has played in Lakhya, that my calls can't die. Ham by, I mean, City ne, you damu da can't die. But here, the Chandra Bose, who is Palamu Pandu Arik Vyad Makkar, I mean, City ne, Ramathin Danga Pandu Arik Vyad Makkar, I mean, City ne, Ramathin Danga Pandu Arik Vyad Makkar, I mean, City ne, Ramathin Danga Pandu Arik Vyad Makkar, I mean, City ne, Ramathin Danga Pandu Arik Vyad Makkar, I mean, City ne, Ramathin Danga Pandu Arik Vyad Makkar, I mean, City ne, Ramathin Danga Pandu Arik Vyad Makkar, I mean, City ne, Ramathin Danga Pandu Arik Vyad Makkar, I mean, City ne, Ramathin Danga Pandu Arik Vyad Makkar, I mean, City ne, Ramathin Danga Pandu Arik Vyad Makkar, I mean, City ne, Ramathin Danga Pandu Arik Vyad Makkar, I mean, City Yudhamuda condemned own Navatat, Peter Peter Devane Vatavatat, Avasan Mahatarangi Kavaram Dinagan Tibena, Happy Balamu, owned the other Dinedi Koimatamakin Tarangavalia of Sankaran Hegri Tamat Asan Navastavak, Rekakatanam, Supirigane Udapandu, Kimatibuna, Lakshan Gamagi, Sehen Usahak Derua, Lakshan Gamagi Nui. Tulina, <laughs> Calls can't damn it about Pandu Asupak to Lakunu, Kasi, Kawashai, Tamat, Hunda, Unusum Satana, Capita, Dekavala, and Nata, Hekia, Valebe, Ever Stanagata Kirimeta Masar to Kunene, Yanu, a power play, Avasta, Avasan, calls can't damn Lakunu Hatali, Kadlu Dekak Devi, Pandura, Hayakavasan. Oh, Tavat, Tati Reka Lakuna Klabaga, no, Durula Pandurekima, Evasta, Vidi. Lakunu Hatali Sekai, Kadlu de Gai Panduara Hayakawasa. You Power play Avasta, Avasani, the Lakun Hotel is Satara Clabagata. Calls Kandama, a Asan item permitted in Alakun Hotel is Sekai Kadlu Dekai. Oh, Power Play Avasta in Anatur, Ada Kim, Bahulata Makrida, Gudhamda, Vasatu, a city in Asela Gunratna, Kandum Labag and Tibena, Hatana Pandua, Rekriat Makiri Masandaha. Oh, what a Vishal Vagakima Clabena, who Yam Sahane with Labena Pandurakin and Haki Yariti Sima in Epita Evasia Labagin, Kadula de Gatavaga, the Hakina Masa, the Haki of Tibina, Taraga, Udamba, Petra Talukaran, Taraga Suhatraka, the Kin Tibina, who to visa with Taraga Velin, Honda Pandema, Kadlu Paha, Lapun, the Haikata, Ada Togin, Udamba Kandam, a Daskam Balapurtuna Anivare Masanka, meet a pair, the Das Dasi was ready, Tasel Gunrat, Kapi Penna. Das kam dekua yudhamudar ata visa visa ligi shurata vidina dima winwin. 
अभी बालों में आधे दिन ये दित होटे एवेनिया का रे दस कमाक देख की मट हैकी वही देखी लवासर हाय कट पास हुए नव तत संगीत पुरे तेरे का नाम ते हो इताम न्याना नितव फ्रीडा कराने में तक पालों में पांडू आ रहे दी अलग कार पहरवाल की पैक लगला विशाल पहरवाल नमूत इन पासों देवी के कारुल लत समगी यम आकारे के इवसी मार गोड़ना गागे नहीं बिना संकर युद्धामुदा इनिमित ओवन पांडुवार दाहतरक पहलवा बने बीटे आवश्यक बने बीटे इतामत होंदे मट्टा में कसी दिया नमूत ओवन के खाडुलु इतामत इक्वनी बिंदे बैठे हुआ आवश्यक पांडुवार पहतुले ये तमाय ओवन टा डैडी बाला पैमा केलो ने विशिन कोल्स दंग पांडुवा न इ एवरात लाखुना लेबेन हुआ आविष्क पेरेरा तमाय लाखुन लेबेन तब लाखुनु अनु है कवश्य ही पांडु असु एकत तिबेन हुआ पांडु सह लाखुनु संसंद ने किरी में दिए तरह मापाहसु इलाके एक नोबे ही नमूत में थाने तीरु सालका बैली में दिए वागे में खाली गुने सुबह वे सालका बैली में दी तारा मक्का अभियोग एक तिबेन हुआ हो में थारंगे पैदते ने युद्धामुदा कांडे में सहा कोल्स कांडे माता रही थीं इतामत होंदे थारंगे एक निर्माण ने बेमिन पावती नवा तीन में थारंगे नरमी में संधा विशाल प्रेक्षक अप्रमाणे कुद पैमिन तभी ना विशेष युद्धामुदा वे सामाद सामाज की युद्धामुदा सामाज की बहो में एक पैमिन तभी ना उनके वाइट पांडव के संज्ञा करना अभी निश्चित रूप से ही रहती बंदर। ओ मैं अब देखने युद्ध हम देखा ना है मैं प्रेक्षक है नो नेम क्रीड़ा वक्ती श्रीलंका वे क्रियात्मक वन ओ नेम देशी क्रीड़ा वक्ती युद्ध हम देखा ना है मैं क्रीड़ा करना ना मैं उन पे मैंने नवातारण के नारबान में तभी अब � पितिकारु यम विधि के तत्त्वांगे स्थान इन यहाँ में हाँ गमन कला केला। ओ पितिकारु आ आविष्क पेरे राहु होगी पाद चाल ने निरंतर इन विनाश केरी में लाख करा। हम उत कीर्ति बंडर इन शुरू वाइट पांडव आकले सान्या करा। आओ हेवर पितिकारु आगे निवेदर दौले में ले जाए पांडव ये वो आविष्क टेरे ही बस। ओ हो अविष्क सिन्हा उमसु मोहनी न्यूतो ये अपीली गान ना वाह तमाय क्रीड़ा वे अलंकारे क्रिकेट क्रीड़ा वे मैं नरबन्नन इटे कुआने इमा अलंकारे निसाई तामत होंदा पांडुवारे क्रियात बकले आसे लगुरात ना युद्धा मुदा कांडा एम वेन वेन पाव प्ले अवस्था वे नानु तुरु लाखुन हाय अप्पा मनाई ले बुने मे पांडु कोल्स कांडे में लाखों नुहाता लिस्सा ताई काटलो देखा कि देवी पंद्रह हाथा काव से ने संगीत पूरे ये वक्त में आविष्क पैरदा तमाय देंग खड़ोले रहती सिटी ने मैं मैं दाख का कोल्स इन्हीं में विशेष आवश्यक विशाद रांधी के साथ संगीत पूरे तमाय इन्हीं मार आरंभ कर ले उन देदना टा होंदा आरंभ अखला � आवासनावान तले से देवी गिया लाखों नल नलबा में कादुल लेबुने लक्षण निद्रिसिंह हट इन आनतुरो रविंद्रासान तसामगी ने कोना संगीत कोरे में रविंद्रासान तके देवी आमिता मतहोंदे उड़ापाम दुआ मिड ऑफ कला पेशी ट्रैक करता टैंक कॉल्स कांडे में लाखों हाथली साताई कादुल देखा है ओ तवात प्रबल तुरुपु तारंगे कैसे आनुए का ही काढ़ लोए कैसे पाना सटाई होंदे में पाम दिए हुए में लाखों उदाहरण आए कुछ काढ़ लो हाथ तरा ओ पाम दो सह है न पाहती न दिया न सचिन मेरा नाम इतराम होंदे दासुनाक नवे ही पिते करने ये दिन खांडा है मटे बलन सह है न पाहती गबन करने याम किसी खाली बलकारी सो भाव्य कथिवान टिंड नेवता तेवे पहाड़ टमाए उत्साह है सार तकाई एक लाखों ना क्लबिनों आविष्कर तो आविष्कर पेरे रा मीठे पेरे पैवतुन आवश्यक पूरा तारंगे दी बीआरसी कांडे में डेरी वांक 
අට ස්ථානෙන් තමයි ක්‍රීඩා කළේ. ඊටමත් පහලින් තමයි ඔහු ක්‍රීඩා කළේ. නමුත් මේ තරගයේ දී ඔහුට සෑහෙන උසස් වීමක් ලැබී තිබෙනවා පිටි කරන ලයිස්වේ. ඊටමත් වැදගත් සාමාන්‍යයෙන් ඔහු ආරම්භක පිටි කරුවෙක් ලෙස තමයි ඔහු පාසල් පාසල් කණ්ඩායම නියෝජනය කළේ. ඔහුගේ පාසල කොළඹ නාලන්දා විද්‍යාලයේ ඔහු නිමා වුණු ශ්‍රී ලංකා නැගියන සංචාරයත් නියෝජනය කරා. එංගලන්ත තරග සංචාරය ඉක්මන් ලකුණා. නිලකුණු පන්දු සෑහෙන මට්ටමකට අවම කර ගනිමින් මොවුන් දෙදෙනා පන්දුවට පහර දෙනවා. එය ඊටමත් වැදගත්. විශේෂයෙන් යුද හමුදා කණ්ඩායම මේ නිලකුණු පන්දු 36ක් මුහුණ දුන්නා පන්දු ආර 20 පුරාවටම. ඔව් එයට ප්‍රධාන හේතුවක් සංගීත් කුරේ. ඔව් ලෙඩ් කට් පහර සාර්ථකයි. ගාම ගේට හැකියාවක් නැහැ. පන්දු රැක ගැනීමට ලකුණු හතරක් අවිෂ්කර පෙරේරාට. ඔව් සිකුගේ ප්‍රසන්නට එරෙහිව තමයි ඒ පහර එල්ල කරන්නේ. ඊටමත් හොඳින් පන්දුව ස්ථානගත කරනවා. ඒ වගේම ඔහුගේ පාද චල්ලිය හොඳයි. කල්යල් මැනීම සහ ස්ථානගත කිරීම. සියල්ල හොඳින්ම සිදු වුණා අවිෂ්කර පෙරේරාගේ අතින්. ඔහු තවමත් 20 20 පිටියට අලුත් ක්‍රීඩකෙක් වැඩි තරග ප්‍රමාණයක් ක්‍රීඩා කරන්න නැහැ. නමුත් පාසල් පිටියේ දස්කම් බොහොමයක් තිබෙන ඔහුගේ නමට ඉදිරියේ. ඔව් මේ පසුව ලබා ගත් ලකුණ ඊටම විශේෂයි. දුර්වල පන්දු වලට අවශ්‍ය පහර එල්ල කොට ලකුණු ලබා ගත යුතු. ඒ වගේම නිලකුණු පන්දු අඩු කර ගැනීම ඊටම වැදගත්. මේ නිමේදී සංගීත් කුරේ සහ අවිෂ්ක පෙරේරා හොඳින් හඳුනාගෙන තිබෙනවා Tamanගේ වගකීම. පන්දු ආරය අවසන් සිකුගේ ප්‍රසන්නගේ පළමු පන්දු ආරය ඔකෝල්ස් කණ්ඩායම BRC කණ්ඩායම පරාජයපත් කරමින් තමයි මේ අවසන් මහා තරගයට සුදුසුකම් ලබා ගත්තේ මේ තිබෙන්නේ මේ තරංග ඉතිහාසයේ ගෙවුණු වසර කිහිපේ නැත්නම් 2015 වේ සිට ඒ ඒ තරංගාවලිවලදී වැඩිම ලකුණු ලබා ගත් ක්‍රීඩකීන් 2015 වදාසි තරංග වාරයේ දසුන් ශානක වැඩිම ලකුණු ලබා වුණා CCC කණ්ඩායම නියෝජනය කරමින් ලකුණු 348යි නන්තුරුව රොවිඳු ගුණසේකර දිනේෂ් චන්දිමාල් ෂෙහන් ජයසූරිය ඒ වගේම ගයාන් මනිෂාන් මෙහි සිටනා අවසන් තරංග වාරයේදී ගයාන් මනිෂාන් කුරුණෑගල තරුණ ක්‍රිකට් කණ්ඩායම වෙනුවෙන් ලකුණු 258ක් ලබා ගත්තා ඒ වගේම ෂෙහන් ජයසූරිය චිලව් මේරියන්ස් කණ්ඩායම නියෝජනය කරමින් ලකුණු තුන්සිය සුපහක් ලබා ගත්තා ප්‍රධාන නම් කිහිපයක්ම ඒ සටහනේ තිබෙන ඔවුන් දැන් ශ්‍රී ලංකා ජාතික කණ්ඩායම නියෝජනය කරමින් හොඳම දස්කම් අතර සිටනවා එහි උඩින්ම සිටියේ දසුන් ශානක අපිට මතකයි ඔස්ට්‍රේලියාවට එරෙහිව පැවැත්ුණු අවසන් 20 20 තරගයේදී දසුන් ශානක දියත් කරපු ඉන්න සුපිරි ගණ ඉන්න ඔව් 20 20 ආරයටම සැකසුණු ප්‍රතිකරුවෙක් දසුන් ශානක මේ වන විට තරගය ප්‍රතිකරුවන් සහ පන්දු යවන්නන් අතර බුද්ධිමය තරගයක් බවට පත්ව තිබෙන්නේ ප්‍රතිකරුවන් එක් ලකුණ දෙක සුරා ගැනීමෙන් සිටිනවා ඒ වගේම පන්දු යවන්නන් Tamanගේ පන්දු රකින්නන්ව ස්ථානගත කරමින් ප්‍රතිකරුවන්ට ලකුණු රැස් කිරීම අවම කරමින් පන්දු යවමින් සිටින්නේ ලකුණ 85ක් අවශ්‍යයි තවමත් පන්දු 70ක් තිබෙනවා පන්දු ආරයකට ලකුණු 7.29ක වේගයක් අවශ්‍යයි මේ ඉලක්කය පසු කර යාමට කෝල්ස් කණ්ඩායමට මේ ඉතාමත් වැදගත් මොවුන් දෙදෙනා ඔවුන්ගේ අන්තයන් හුමාරු කරගනිමින් පීඩනේ හුමාරු කරගනිමින් කඩුල්ලේ රැඳි සිටින විශේෂයෙන් වමත් සහ දකුණු අපිති කරවන යුගලයක් තමයි කඩුල්ලේ රැඳි සිටින්නේ එය පන්දු රකින කණ්ඩායමට නම් එතරම්ම සුබදායි වන්නේ නැහැ අවත් විශාල පහරක උත්සාහය නමුත් පිටිකරුවා කඩුලු රකින්නා දෙදෙනාම පරයමින් පන්දු වැදි යනවා පසුපසට ලකුණු දෙකක් අවිෂ්ට පෙරරාට අසේල එතරම් සතුටු වෙන එකක් නැහැ අතිරේක ලකුණු ඒ වගේම අපේ ලකුණු සටහන් කරු දිනේෂ් කුමාරගේ නසන්නට ලැබෙනවා මේ ලකුණු පරතරය පන්දු සහ ලකුණු අතර තිබෙන පරතරය උන් පන්දු 20ක් පුරාවට එක ප්‍රමාණයම රඳවාගෙන පැමිණ තිබෙන්නේ. ඉතින් මේ පිටිකරුවන් හොඳින් එක ලකුණ දෙක ලබා ගැනීමේ ප්‍රතිඵලයක් තමයි මේ පරතරය පවත්වා ගැනීමට හැකිවීම. ඒ වගේම තවත් දෙයක් සචින් දිනේෂ් කුමාර කියන ලකුණු සටහන්කරුගේ උපන්දිනයද? ඉතින් ඔහුට සුබ උපන්දිනයකුත් ප්‍රාර්ථනා කළ යුතුයි. අනිවාර්යයෙන්ම සංග සුබ උපන්දිනයක් දිනේෂ්. ඉතින් මේ අපේ සහෝදර විස්තර විචාරකයන් තරගයේ නරඹන ආකාරය 
ඉතින් ඉතාමත් හොඳ තරඟයක් ක්‍රියාත්මක වෙමින් තිබෙන්නේ විශේෂයෙන් මේ අවස්ථාවේදී කෝල්ස් කණ්ඩායම ඉතාමත් ඥානාන්විතව ක්‍රීඩා කළ යුතුයි මේ තරඟය ඔවුන්ට ජයග්‍රහණය කිරීමට අවශ්‍ය නම් මේ අවස්ථාවේදී ඔවුන්ගේ කඩුලු බිඳ වැටීම හැකි උපරිම මට්ටමෙන්ම අවම කරගෙන ක්‍රීඩා කිරීමට හැකියාව ලැබුණොත් ඔවුන්ටත් මේ තරඟයේ වැඩි වාසිය ලබා ගැනීමට හැකි එවර වේගය අඩාල කරමින් ක්‍රියාත්මක කරන උපන්දුවක් නමුත් හානියක් වන්නේ නැහැ පොල්ස් කණ්ඩායම ලකුණු 59 කඩලු දෙකයි පන්දුවාර 9ක් අවසානයේ අපි මීට පෙර පන්දුවාරේදී කතා බහට ලක් කරා ගෙවුණු තරඟ වාරයන් වල කවුද වැඩිම ලකුණු ලබා ගත්තේ කියලා මේ තිබෙන්නේ ගෙවුණු තරඟ වාරයන් කිහිපේ වැඩිම කඩලු ලබා ගත් පන්දුවාන්නන්ගේ නම් සහ උන්ගේ දත්තයන් තිලන තුෂාර මිරැන්ඩෝ 2015 දාසිය තරඟ සමය තුල CCC කණ්ඩායම නියෝජනය කරමින් කඩලු 13ක් ලබා ගන්න ඉන්න අනතුරුව ලාසිත් මාලිංග NCC කණ්ඩායම නියෝජනය කරමින් කඩලු 17ක් ලබා ගන්නවා මලින්ද පුෂ්පකුමාර CCC කණ්ඩායම නියෝජනය කරමින් තරඟ දෙකක් පුරාවට තරඟාවලි දෙකක් පුරාවටම කැපි පෙනෙන දස්කම් දැක්වුවා කඩලු 20ක් සහ කඩලු 18ක් දවාගෙන ලසිත් මාලිංග 2017 දහට තරඟ වාරයේදී ඉතාමත් හොඳින් දස්කම් අතරට පැමිණිය NCC කණ්ඩායම වෙනුවෙන් 2017 දහට කියන්නේ අසංක වැඩි කාලයක් නැහැ මේ ගෙවුණු වාසර කිහිපය පුරාවට ඔව් එහි දත්තයන් තුල අපට සැඟවුණු කරුණක් සොයා යා හැකි ඒ පන්දියවන්නන් අතරින් පන්දියවන්නන් සිව් දෙනෙකුම පන්දියවන්නන් වැඩි ප්‍රමාණයක් අත්දැකීම් සහිත පන්දියවන්නන් ඉතින් ඔව් අලංකාර ඉසයිඩ් අවුට් පහර උඩ පන්දියකට උත්සාහය නමුත් පන්දුව වරක් පතිත වී පන්දු රකින ක්‍රීඩකයා අතට යන්නේ ඉතින් අප කතා කරමින් හිටපු දේ අත්දැකීම් සහිත පන්දියවන්නන් මේ විශේෂ තරඟ රටාවේ ඇතමෙකු හිතන්නට පුළුවන් මේ ජව සම්පන්න පන්දියවන්නන්ට නවකයන්ට ආධුනිකයන්ට ලැබෙන අවස්ථාවක් හැටියට නමුත් ඊෂාන් ජයරත්න පමණයි එහි ආධුනික ක්‍රීඩකයෙකුට සිටින්නේ ඔව් අනිවාර්යයෙන්ම සංක දංග පන්දියවන්නන් ඒ වගේම වේග පන්දියවන්නන් ඒ සියලුම දෙනාම ගෙවුණු තරඟ වාරයන් තුල කැපී පෙනෙන දස්කම් දක්වා තිබෙන විශේෂයෙන් මලින්ද පුෂ්පකුමාර පළමු පෙළ කඩලු 800කට වැඩි ප්‍රමාණයක් මේ වන විට දවාගෙන තිබෙනවා ඉතින් ඔහු අත්දැකීම් බහුලම ක්‍රිකට් ක්‍රීඩකයේ වත්මන් දේශීය තරඟ බිමේ සිටින ඉවර ග්ලාන්ස් කිරීමකට උත්සාහ කරනවා නමුත් හරියට පිටේ ගැටනේ වන්නේ නැහැ මේ සමලතාවේ තමත් වැදගත් කෝල්ස් කණ්ඩායමට ඔවුන්ගේ අවසන් ප්‍රතිපාලයට මේ සම්බන්ධතාවය කැපී පෙනෙන සාධකයක් බවට පත් වේ විපන්දු 31යි ලකුණු 30යි ඒ වගේම සංගීත් කුරේ මේ තරඟයේ අවසානය දක්වා රැඳී සිටීමට උත්සාහ කළ යුතුය ඔහුගේ ඉනිම ඉතාමත් වැදගත් කෝච් කණ්ඩායමට ඔව් නැවතත් පසුපාදේ කට් කිරීමට උත්සාහය නමුත් පිටේ හරි හැටි වදින්නේ නැහැ ඉතින් සංගීත් කුරේ තමන්ගේ කණ්ඩායම ජයග්‍රහණය කරා රැගෙන යන තෙක් පිටේ රැඳී සිටිය යුතුය ඔහුගේ හොඳින් හඳුනාගෙන තිබෙනවා ඔව් යුද හමුදා කණ්ඩායම මීට පෙර 2016 තරඟ සමයේදී තැමිල් යුනියන් කණ්ඩායමට හිරිව ශූරතාවය දිනා ගැනීමට සමත් වුණා ඒ තරඟයේදී කණ්ඩායම මෙහෙවරන ලැබුවේ අසේල ගුණරත්න කණ්ඩායමේ ක්‍රීඩා කර සිය කිරි ප්‍රසන්න තමයි ඒ කණ්ඩායමේ නායකත්වය දරුවේ පන්දුවර 10ක් අවසන් පෝස් කණ්ඩායම ලකුණු 62යි කඩලු දෙකක් දෙවි Nicely poised this game, 62 for 2. The Coles chasing 140 at 10 overs. They need to go at around 7.5 and, and over to chase that down. Should be a good contest this as we come to the business end of this final. Army um, versus Coles is what we're talking about. This is the SLC Major Clubs T20 Tournament of 2022. Lakshan Edrisinga, who bowled very well in his first couple of overs, picked up that one wicket. Will now look to apply the brakes on this partnership, which is looking good for Coles, Harita. Yeah, this stage, um, Army was 71 for four, so uh, Colts are ahead uh, as far as the wickets column concerned, but uh, the runs uh, is a matter. Uh, during his 12 balls, there were seven dots bowled by Lakshan Nedrisinger in his first spell. So that could be a contributory factor for him to be brought in. He said he read the pitch well. He knows the length on which you want to bowl here. But Avishka Pereira has been decent over here he also understands that you can't go for those big shots early on you've got to get a measure of the pitch playing a lot of sweep shots this time though 
drives it straight to the field. There, he's a single there, so he's been doing that quite well. Avish Kapoorera, as and when possible, is given the strike to Sangeet Kure, who's looked to be the aggressor, but he too now has understood that they need this partnership to go on until at least the 15th over. Keep that required run rate under eight for as long as possible, and then take it from there. It's a cat and mouse game at this stage. So the next five overs, how many runs to be scored, how many wickets to be picked up, could give an indication of uh, how this uh, game is going to finish uh, with a flourish. A yeah, crucial stage of the game. This that's going to be a white. It's a lot of turn we've seen. Lakshan Edir Singh has extracted some turn and bounce on this track. We saw that with the Coles bowlers as well. Surprising, we have not seen Tisara Pereira have a ball yet on this kind of track. Some slow ones, off trackers. They've been useful. Mm -hmm. No, he won't. He won't bowl. I think he's a PO batter, the captain. Yeah, there, there's so much of uh, resources available. Mm. So, then you think that uh, Kaumal Nanakar and Himachal Yenike are not making the 11, and three of the others are not there. Yeah, the uh, Mahesh Chandimal and Sunil Akshan. Do you Dinesh Chandimal, you mean? Yes, of course. <laughs> the batter. Looking to hit that hard, Avish Kapereira, not getting all of it. You have to get a move on here. 16 of 20 when you're chasing a required run rate of 8.04 is not going to be helpful. That's a loose delivery. That's been hammered away and it's been taken. Wow, look at that. Created an opportunity out of nothing. That fielder there at fine leg taking a superb catch. A, a ball that didn't deserve a wicket. Lakshan Edri Singer picks up another. So this is uh, a crucial aspect. Edri Singer's second wicket thanks to this catch. The pure ability of uh, the fielder on that occasion. Tatum Boteju that was. Brilliant catch. So Avish Kapereira departs for 16. Coles are 65 for 3 in reply. Such a cruel game sometimes this can turn out to be. They've bowled some superb deliveries, the army, but they haven't got wickets. The batters have somehow played them well and survived them, but a loose delivery there by Lakshana Dressinga down the leg side. Avish Kapurara choosing to just guide that on, but hit it straight to the fielder, which brings Hashan Domindu to the crease. It's 11th over in progress. Now suddenly it's looking like a mountain to climb for Coles. Army to seem to have taken control here. 65 for 3, the Colts are looking for 140 is their target. Sangeet Kure is a set batter. Another partnership is needed. Steps forward in the first ball. Gets off the mark. Nashan Dumidu has scored 146 runs for Army in this tournament. It's a good over by Lakshan Adri Singer. Picked up another wicket for his team. Broke that partnership between Avish Kapere and Sangeet Kure. Dumindu Hashan Dumindu to the crease. It's a good strike rate there. 121 is a very huge, very useful strike rate at this at this juncture of the game. And he had to bring that out today if he has to get this team across the line. Amongst the runs in the semi final, too. Well, this was quite unfortunate for Avishka Pereira. He thought he had an opportunity to guide that past the fine leg fielder for a boundary, but unfortunately, he hit it straight to Boteju over there. Sikuke Prasanna, wow, what a delivery that one! Beaten him with flight and turn. Domindu Hashan, we were just talking about him. Batting well in the semi-final, he looks to decides to play that on the leg side, misses it completely, and the keeper needs no invitation to break those bales off. Yeah, Patum Kumara only had to do the finishing. 
It was beautifully bowled. The loop, the turn, the bounce. Hashan Dumindi was drawn in front and lost his way. Really under pressure now, Colts losing their fourth wicket, two in quick succession. Hashan Dumindu goes for just a single, Colts are stuttering along at 66 for four. We have match winners in their team. CQK Prasanna, we know what he's capable of with the bat. We know he can bowl well, but this ball that he bowled was magical. Very important wicket for Army. They're now applying some serious pressure here on Colts. The new batter, Naranjir Lakshan, the left hander. Everyone knows what he's capable of. He's proven himself a few times now in the domestic circuit, and today he'll have to bat well for his team. Yeah, of the four top uh, runs uh, accumulators for Colombo Coles, three have departed. Brings out the sweep shot, the first ball that he's faced and he gets a couple there. So two left-handers now, a new challenge for the leg spinners. Okay, someone who's very experienced, he'll know exactly what to do in this occasion. But Dananjay Lakshan too, no mark with the bat, he can definitely bat. Yeah, he opened batting and bowling for Richmond College goal during his school career. Meets the ball, smothers the spin and hits that to the field at long on for a single. These two have to put together a good partnership here now. Take calculated risks. They need 71 of 51. Yeah, the 33 run third wicket stand looked good and convincing but it was trifle slow in coming yeah, Garmini talked earlier about how batting is going to become a bit more difficult as the day goes on a few more cracks might appear on the pitch might slow down take some turn spinners will come into play and that's exactly what has happened we're seeing how the batters are struggling to pick these spinners Polite inquiry there. Beaten trying to sweep. If anybody can hit big against the wiles of uh, the likes of uh, Seiko Gay Prasan, it's Dananjay Lakshan. If he doesn't make a move by now, that uh, asking rate uh, can climb to 10 in the next couple of overs. Yeah, they need a couple of meaty blows here to bring that required run rate under control it's almost climbed up to nine which is not good for calls they have lost two wickets in quick succession 12 overs done 71 for four my mind goes back to the first uh, inter club 2020 tournament colombo calls lost to brc in that match played at the ssc Lots of cricket, T20 especially, and LPL is something we are looking forward to. The clam and fair of the Lanka Premier League will be back on the 31st of July. Lots of games to be played at the Premadasa and at the Hamban Theatre. The overseas player registration happens currently on the Sri Lanka Cricket website. You can do it before 12 p.m. on the 23rd of June. So if you're watching from abroad, this is a tournament that you need to take seriously. The Lanka Premier League, after two successful editions, it's going to be back for the third one. Lakshan Edir Singh will continue. He's bowled well, just the 13 runs in his 13 in his three overs. If he can pick up one more wicket here, that should it's going to make it very difficult for Coles to come back. Then that's a, this is a gamble on the part of Tisara Pereira to switch ends uh, for Lakshan. What do Coles do from here, Haritha? Nananjay Lakshan, we know he can hit the ball. Sangeet Kure is a more settled batter. Perhaps ask him to bat through and then get Lakshan, Nananjay Lakshan to take those risks. Yes, but Sangeet will take the risk this time. In fact, 
He tried to take a risk, but this damp outfield doesn't allow the ball to run away to the boundary for a very good looking shot, unfortunately, just a couple of runs. So Ashan Randika just taps it uh, into play, prevents the boundary. We have to take a few chances. It looks like Sangeet has decided that he can't hang on anymore. He needs to play a couple of those risky strokes. This time he's able to beat the fielder. Maybe another single then. As long as they don't concede boundaries, Ami would be very happy. 64 or 44 is not a mammoth task by any means in a T20 match. We've seen bigger targets than that chase being chased down. Yes, sweep attempted. Oh, has he lifted his foot? Has he lifted his foot? In fact, he has. In fact, he has. Oh, Daranjay Lakshan, what have you done? You needed to stay there with your partner, Sangeet, but you've decided to play an outrageous stroke and lost your wicket in the process. Very smart uh, Patun Kumar behind the stumps on that occasion. Oh, take a look at this. He seems to be surprised, Dhananjay Lakshan. Rampai Pradeep Udavata was very confident. Leaves his crease. Oh. I don't know, Haritha. I don't know. He, he was on the crease, but the umpire was convinced that uh, he had lost control on being grounded. But the wicket keeper decided very well. Dhananjay Lakshan going for five. Five down now for 76 goals. Big wicket for Ar <laughs> how dangerous he can be. He perishes. Attempting a reverse sweep, not being in control, almost falling off. And then the wicket keeper Patun Kumar are taking the bails off and a stumping there. Lakshan Edri Singer picks up another wicket. Three wickets for him now. One more ball to go. Mudita Lakshan, another Lakshan comes into the crease. So that strike rate of 147 will matter the most today. Can he bring that out on a difficult wicket against some quality bowling? Start off with a single to get off the mark. End of a very successful over for Abhi. 13 overs completed. Half of the side lost calls for 77. The rain stayed away, and immediately after this, uh, the Premier League One Day Championship gets underway. Sri Lanka cricket doing such a good job with keeping the cricket going. Many challenges for the participating teams, though. I was walking in this morning, Haritan. I was wondering how did these players even get here? A lot of us are struggling to find fuel in Colombo. But I guess it's your commitment, isn't it? If you really want to make it here, if you really want to be part of your part of your team, if you really want to go out there, express yourself, enjoy the game that you love. So it's a profession for a lot of these boys. It's their main profession. That's a big hit. But it might just go straight to the hands. Yes, it does. Harry's dropped it. Ooh, I think it's Lakshan Gamage there, the fast bowler. Sangeet Kure deciding to go over. Thought he could clear the field there. In fact, it's Boteju there. Patum Boteju. Take a look at this. It happens. How costly will that be though? How costly will that be? Sangeet is the set batter here for Coles. Coles will be 
counting on him to see them through. Goes for that big shot. It's another better view of how that catch was dropped. Able to see it. That's another big appeal. CQ Prasanna has been a top performer as a batsman, as a bowler. That's the BW appeal, no. Going down the left side, pretty clear and evident. That's another appeal again. The batter missing it completely. Mudita Lakshan is finding it difficult to read CQ Prasanna here. This is quality bowling, it's his experience, keeping up the pressure. Quite hundred now, almost at 10 per row, it's getting away from the Coles batters. The last moment, 61 now of 37, Sikuge and Lakshan and Adrisinghe have bowled very well in tandem, they've applied those breaks, not allowed the batters to get away. Okay, and another dot ball. This is brilliant from Siku K. Prasanna. Superb bowling. He finishes his three overs. Just given away 14 runs. 14 overs completed. 79 for 5. Talk about Army having a very good bowling lineup, and after Lakshan Edri Singh and Sikuke Prasanna have picked up those two wickets to really dent the Coles batting, in comes Asel Gunaratna, very difficult, another difficult bowler to bat against. So, really, Army having all their bases covered. Another front line all rounder for. The soldiers. So the two national caps bowling from either end. Keep up the pressure, the variation. And with this asking rate of over 10, looks uh, almost curtains for Colombo Coles at this stage. Look at that batting lineup of Coles, and you wonder if they've got that depth in their batting to try and get them out of this mess or even get them across the line. 59 of 34, that run, required run rate is above 10 now. Especially on a pitch like this, where batting isn't the easiest. You wonder if it's all over for Coles, and the soldiers have marched to victory. Oh, that's a big shot attempted, and it's clean, it's great through. Asel Gunaratna picks up his first wicket. Look at that smile on his face. He almost knew that Sangeet Kurey is going to attempt a big shot and he had to. It was getting away from them. You can't fault the batter. batter. But Asel Gunaratna, reward for some very good bowling there. And a good bowling change by Tessera Pereira. Did this uh, part, uh, Kurey, but wickets were falling at the other end. So he had to go for it. 38 coming at runner ball for the opener. Balls are 81 for 6. Akhirudananji, the captain, walks out. He has a big task at hand here. And back himself, he's a confident young... You can't call him young anymore, but he's a confident cricketer now. He's got experience, but it's a mammoth task ahead of him. Not big stats with the bat, that average of eight is something that is, doesn't, doesn't give you much confidence. He's 28 years old, Akhirudananji. He's been around for a while now. He made his mark as a youngster. Oh, that's a nice ball. That's a very nice ball. Asal Gunaratna. Army's bowlers have totally owned this innings now. Made it very difficult for the batters. There could be a 
moment of signs of flourish with Akhil Ajanande, but uh, whether he could sustain over the next five overs. Yeah, he'll get you a couple of boundaries, maybe here and there to a loose ball or two, but expecting him to chase down over 50 runs with just over five overs to go is something maybe asking for too much from a genuine spinner, not someone who can bat so much. But this has been a solid performance from Army. It's in the air for a while, but safe. So superb bowling effort there by Asal Gurath picks up another wicket. Five overs to go and it seems inevitable that the soldiers will march to victory. Five overs to go, calls are 82 for six. Was 82 for the loss of six wickets after 15 overs, and that's the end of this keeper. Akila Dananje also departs as the seventh wicket falls for calls. As I welcome Gamini Pera Gamini. Yeah, it has been the uh, same story as with the semi final, wasn't it? Run making becomes even more difficult in the second innings as the wicket gets drier. That's another terrific catch. Kept his balance. Sikuge Prasanna. What's that dance? That's a Hawaiian dance. So, sixth wicket, or seventh wicket, I should say. 82 for seven. Was 82 for the loss of seven niggles at the moment after 15.1 overs. Sikwe Prasanna has taken two wickets for 14 runs so far. He's into his final over. He'll be pretty close to being best on ground. Sikwe Prasanna contributed 29 with the bat in hand. Two for 14. He's not finished, I'll tell you that. The Alexis seats. Actually, I have a surprise at the um, toss calls being the benefit day that last um, dismissal after getting an easy victory in that semi-final they should have known that the run making becomes very difficult in the second innings although the sun wasn't out in force today Wicket was better than last time. This is Nimesh Mendes' stats. But those stats not going to help you in this situation. He need to come, come up with a career best. 140. It's a lot of runs. 140 runs. On a track like this, when there is no pace, there is not a lot of bounce. It was an interesting choice in Gambia. In the semi finals, both the teams won after batting first. So, after winning the toss, selecting to bowl was kind of an interesting decision. It looks like it's back. They said the Harta Pera after losing the toss, being invited, was the happier person. Quick delivery. Just the one. 56 of 20, 55 of 25 now. Sikuke Prasanna, his last major rack for this match, last final ball. And he's bowled him. 
Sige. Sige. celebration. Sige, Prasal na. Known for some creative celebrations. Let's take on his third wicket. Falls 85 with loss of 8 wickets at the moment. This is the replay of that dismissal once again. Oh, oh, nice drift. Castle. There is a slight crease across the grounds from the main pavilion into the scoreboard side. Prasanna used that crease quite nicely. Dipped his drift. Mendes goes for one of three, calls 85 for eight. Calls 85 for the loss of 8 wickets after 16 overs. As uh, Gayan Chandra Bose returns to the attack, he has bowled 2 overs so far and has given away just 9 runs. Mulita Lakshan is going to be the last home for calls. Chandra is a capable batter, but the task looks too much for them. That's powerfully driven by Mulita, but only for a single. Because they need 54, 54 more runs from 23 deliveries. A required rate of 414. Yeah, Ranpo, still very early in his career. Under 19. Representative. And a daunting task from here. Innovative shots to get his innings underway. At least a couple. Actually had a dashing start to their innings. I mean, it's Angi Pure. He scored 14 runs off the first over, but then they just struggled. Their middle order, they just couldn't get going. Yeah, they had to. They had to on a track like this. You need to do the bulk of it with the, uh, with, um, while the ball is new, while the ball is hard. As it gets older, run become run making becomes that much difficult. There's no bounce. There's no speed. You can't play pick up shots either. You need to use your feet to good effect to get close to the ball. Sweep shots is absolute necessity on a track like this. With all those factors, when the experience factor of Sikhuvi Prasanna and Nasa Lagunaratna comes in, it gets even harder. Sangeet Kuri the only batsman who actually fought till the very end. Others, they just succumb to the pressure. 51 more runs in 21 deliveries. Hesitation, hesitation, hurry, hurry. He's out. Did he have the ball in hand? The wicket keeper certainly broke the stumps. That's the uh, end of Vinu Javranpul. Eight figure down for calls. Is the dismissal once again? That was a clean pick up by the keeper. Got that really well. Vinish Ranpool is short of his crease. He's still waiting, Amini. Now that's the uh, ninth figure down for calls. I think, in fairness to uh, army players, they had a small discussion with the wicketkeeper to absolutely um, convince that the ball he, he had the ball in his hand. Calls 8 9 for the loss of nine wickets after 16.4 overs.
So the last batsman in. Paragay had to face a delivery. Mudita six on of eleven. Yep. What took place that there was uh, luck like says that um, army skipper Hari um, Tisara Pereira asked the batsman to wait just to confirm Pithi's wicket keeper whether the ball was in his hands. That was good sportsmanship from uh, Tisara. Although they are right on top of this game, still it is good to see. This is a final, don't forget. Army Sports Club after falling short in the final hurdle during the last year's tournament against SSC this time around. They are well in there to clinch the trophy. Pause 8 9 for the loss of 9 wickets after 17 overs. Selagun Ratna to bowl his final over. He'll be wanting to take that final wicket. There's Nandana. He doesn't miss a beat. That, that blow. Not the easiest job when you get up on those scaffoldings. Got a bit of decoration on his camera too. Can Mukta Lakshan do something to change this match? That's well hit. That's in the gap. That's a terrific shot. Too late, too late Damini. They need a few of those, don't they? They need to uh, replicate something similar to what Dasun Shanaka did against Australia during the 2020 if they had to win this match. Yeah, if you have seen that routine effort, you won't count out anything. So didn't get the way. elevation, didn't get the contact he wanted. He didn't want the single leader, so he'll have to do a similar effort like Dasun Shahanaka. He'll have to do it by all by himself, Mudita. The problem here is Agamini that they have just one wicket remaining. Asalagun Ratna runs in once again. Driven down the ground by Muttalakshan. They take the single. That was well bowled by Asala Gunrat. They didn't give him any length to get under. That was right up there. And Murita took the single. So th he exposed Barge for three balls. Barge can't just go into a shell either. This is a situation where both batsmen will have to have a go. They need boundaries. Forty-six of fifteen deliveries. Yeah, well, the moment Army finished on one thirty-nine, uh, Laksasi, I think it was just a pretty difficult effort from there onwards to chase a total like that. It looked easy on paper, but only the guys who played on this surface. The conditions didn't really help to um, get close to that one. Leg cutter from Marcel Gunaratna. That man also has led well from the front, Zara Pereira. Got them into the final with that superb batting effort. They've had a lot of ground support too, are we, haven't they? They have turned up in numbers. They had some huge, su huge support from their supporters who, who were there since the morning. I mean, they were here from like 9 a.m. even before we started the match. <laughs> a loud appeal by Asela Gunratna. Pradeep Ruata is not moved by that. Two overs to go, 46 to get, 94 for night. 23 runs per over required. 
I mean, after all the cricket action, we are heading into the Schools Rugby League, the Dialogue Schools Rugby League 2022. This is the Division 1 Segment A. In Group 1A, we have Royal College, St. Joseph's, St. Thomas's, Trinity College, Kingswood College, St. Anthony's College. And in Group 2A, we have St. Peter's, Wesley College, Isibadna College, Science College, Vidyartha College and Dharmaraja College. Yeah, two good to see amazing groups. People have missed rugby. Especially you get more people coming in to watch schools rugby than actual club rugby. Papare.com covering those events and uh, for two years it hasn't happened and uh, good to see the school boys are in action and uh, no doubt there will be a lot of interest. It has been a long time isn't it? Two years. So you can catch all the live action from the Dialogue Schools Rugby League on the Papare.com. Forty-six required of eleven deliveries. With Kalakshan swinging hard but not connecting. The guy deserves a wicket. He's been bowling well into his last two. He has considered only thirteen runs, so we need to get that ball closer to get that top edge. That's up in there. Is that the match? Yeah. Yes, that's the match for Army Sports Club. They have clinched the championship. Calls bundled out for 94 as Calls have won the match by 45 runs and they have won the T20 Championship after six years, Garmini. After six years, that's a long time, they have won the championship. They also they lost it in the, uh, on the last day last year as well, weren't they? They bride ended up bridesmaid, but this time around Army. We started this coverage on the very first day at SSC and Army featured that day. They have been the better side right along and they deserve to be champions they i think outplayed most of the side they got faced in all three departments and this is even without the likes of dinesh shandima mahish tikshan assuming the lakshan so this is a great effort guys like ashram randika performed really well throughout the tournaments and here are the celebrations from their fans they are ecstatic over the championship victory of army sports club Great effort, and as we were talking, Ashwan Randiga, he was really good throughout the tournament, and here's the coaching staff. This has been really great. A great tournament for Army Sports Club, deserving winners. Some great celebrations. Yeah, coached by Roger Vijay Surya, assistant coach Ratnayaka, and the cricket in charge, Sandim Dias. They'd be pretty happy that they have molded the unit to win this championship yet another year they were like i mentioned they were the runners up last year so they had to go one better this time and um, you mentioned those three players that they are missing because of the national duty but they had good depth in their squad and, uh, and i was having a chat with roger Vijay Surya. he told me that it's got a 20 players most of them got opportunities throughout the tournament but uh, there, there is that man, Roger Vijay Surya, shaking hands with Akhil Dhananjo. Ratnag, the assistant coach. Yeah, those are good, uh, good pictures, really. Both teams were unbeaten coming into the grand final, so Coles tasting defeat for the first time. There is Sandim Dias, man in charge. All in all, um, it's easy, Army, when they do something, they're pretty disciplined, aren't they? Indeed, Army. They have been really good, they have been disciplined, they have maintained, they have been consistent, that's the main thing. They have been consistent from the start till the beginning. So, uh, from beginning till the end, they were consistent, which played a huge part in them winning this championship. Chandimal and Mahesh Tikshan are celebrating. Yeah, this is the first year Roger Vijay Surya has taken. This is that final wicket for Army Sports Club. A top edge by Mutta Lakshan. He's not going to miss that, isn't it? The final wicket and he is Sigugye Prasanna as always. Dancing with joy. Did a huge part in this final. And as you said, Gayan Chandra was deservingly winning this trophy. 
Isara Pereira played a crucial knock in the semi final, scored a half century. Messi won by 45 rounds to win the major club's T20 tournament. The calls will be disappointed. They were also really good throughout the tournament from the beginning to this very moment. They missed a trick when they bowled first time. Yeah, Toss, may, Toss played a major part. And um, this is how Coles made the reply. Sangeet, he was. Uh, he looked pretty good. He timed the ball with great effect, stroke the ball with great assurance, 38 of 38. Once he departed, there was not much to come from Coles. Three batsmen getting double figures, Rasanta, Avishka and Mudita, the last man out. But uh, other batsmen found it difficult, the conditions, simply because of the fielding and the bowling effort by Army. Avishka Pereira scored 16. He tried hard. He tried hard with Sangeet Kure, but just couldn't get going. The dismissal of Dhananjay Lakshan also played a huge part. He was someone who course would have hoped to that he would have carried on the momentum. Akira Dhananjay couldn't get going. Mesh Wendis just won. Minoj Ranpul tried some creative strokes, but got run out at the end. Eight extras, six wides and uh, two buys. At the end of the day, Coles bundled out for 94 after 18.3 overs. They were chasing 140. And this is the bowling for Warm Sports Club. Lakshan Gamage bowled just the one over, went for 14. And uh, Lakshan Edu Singh, 19 runs given away after taking three wickets. And uh, Yashwad Mendis took one wicket for 12 runs. And Gan Chandra Bose took one wicket for 13. Asay Lagun Ratna took one wicket for 17 runs and Siku Ge Prasanna using all that experience to take three wickets for just 17 runs. Siku Ge, the person who changed the match completely by taking those three wickets in the middle phase, played a huge part using all his experience. A great effort by Army Sports Club bowlers. These are the highlights of the innings of calls. Sangeet Kure, he started brilliantly, scored some boundaries in the very first over, scored 14 runs in the very first over by scoring two fours and a single six. But since then, they failed as this Vishad Randika tried to sweep it away, could only edge. And this was Sangeet Kure continuing to bat. He tried really hard but just couldn't get going and driving to Rasanta. And Rasanta played some good strokes, but he went out as well. He just couldn't keep going. And this is Avishka Pereira. He tried hard, as we said. He tried really hard. He tried hard with Sangeet Kure to bring some momentum. This was a great catch. And this is Sikuge Prasanna turning the match completely with those dismissals in the end. Akshan Adil Singh took really well. Some important wickets as well. Dananjay Lakshan was stumped and this is the important wicket Sangeet Kure bowled by Asela Gunaratna completely foxed him there's another dismissal trying to go down the ground just couldn't connect this Nimesh Sikuke Prasanna once again and Gan Chandra Bose bowled an amazing spell this was a great run out effort by Yami Sports Club as Vinu Joranpul had to depart and this was Mutta Lakshan, he tried, he tried hard during the end to do something and this is the end, the all-important final dismissal for Army Sports Club as Mutta Lakshan was bundled out and that was the end of course. Tisara Pereira, Siguye Prasanna played a huge part during the whole tournament and today as well. The fans, they are celebrating, they are really happy. Tisara Pereira being congratulated by his wife. A great performance, isn't it, Gamini? They have been really good, as we said, throughout the tournament from the beginning till the very end. Okay, match summary. Army was invited to bat first. 139 for 9. A few contributions from some of the top-order batsmen. Prasanna was the highest, 29. 
Lakshan 3 for 25 was the best for calls. Sangeet Kure for a lone battle. Prasanna was the star with the ball. 3 for 17 along with Lakshan 3 for 19. Army SC won by 45 runs. So uh, that's all the action we have from today. We'll be back with the presentation ceremony. The final presentation ceremony will begin shortly. So we are going for the you're going for a commercial at the moment, and we'll be back shortly. Indoor <laughs> the excitement real time be up to date with it all let us capture your milestones get it sizzling hot off the turf hear the experts break it down dig deep into the nitty-gritty be inspired by their greatness relive all the scintillating action Indoor <laughs>
catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your... Hello and uh, welcome to the uh, presentation ceremony of uh, the uh, Sri Lanka Cricket Major Clubs uh, 2020 Championship 2022. We take this opportunity to thank uh, Sri Lanka Cricket uh, for their commitment in conducting this tournament and also Papare.com and uh, Dialogue uh, Television for giving the uh, live uh, coverage and streaming as much as possible. We also won't forget uh, the commitment of uh, the uh, participating teams, the uh, players, the officials and uh, the managements for getting the players uh, for the commitment uh, they showed uh, through this tournament under very difficult circumstances. Okay, for the presentation ceremony, we'd like to invite uh, Mr. Samantha Dodangwala, the chairman of the tournament committee of Sri Lanka Cricket, together with Mr. Chintaka Ediriman, head of national cricket operations of Sri Lanka Cricket. Uh, during their day, two very good and effective new ball bowlers who could bat. Gentlemen. It's been a tremendous uh, opportunity for the players themselves uh, to be involved in a tournament of this nature with uh, so much at stake with uh, the LPL and so many other aspects uh, that are oncoming. The players uh, showed their commitment. So without any ado, we take this opportunity to get to the presentation ceremony straight off and thank before that the two teams for today's interesting game. First uh, three awards uh, in the company of Mr. Chintaka Edriman, who is the head of national cricket operations at Sri Lanka Cricket. Man of the final, he would collect a cash award of 75,000 rupees plus this trophy with uh, 29 balls scored of 20 ball, 29 runs scored of 20 balls and capturing three for 17. Sikuge Prasanna, Sri Lanka Army, is our man of the final. Congratulations to you, uh, Siku. The next three individual awards uh, have been uh, considered uh, on performances uh, up to the semi-finals only. First, it's the Best Bowlers Award. He would collect 100,000 rupees of cash and a trophy. He has picked up 16 wickets whilst captaining his side. Akila Dhananja, Kalamba Coles Cricket Club. Congratulations and well bowled, Attila. Next, uh, for the best batter, he would also receive uh, 100,000 rupees cash in addition to the trophy. He accumulated 190 runs uh, coming up to this game. Sangeet Kure, Colombo Coles Cricket Club, is our best batter. Thank uh, Mr. Chintika Ediriman and congratulate uh, Sangeet Kure. Next, uh, we have uh, Mr. Samantha Dodangwala, who is uh, chairman of uh, the tournament committee of Sri Lanka Cricket uh, to give away the awards. This for the player of the tournament. He would receive 200,000 rupees plus uh, a trophy. He accumulated 264 runs, including one century and one half century at a strike rate of a commendable 150. Ashan Randika, Sri Lanka Army, is player of the tournament. Congratulations, uh, Ashan. Next for the runners-up. Coming into this game, they were unbeaten and they would receive a 300,000 cash award. 
Colombo Coles Cricket Club. We invite Akila Dhananjay, the captain, to come in. I remember they were runners-up in the first ever uh, 2020 Inter-Club tournament. And uh, once again uh, today, despite uh, good performance uh, through the tournament. Last but not least, uh, the champions would receive uh, 500,000 rupees plus the challenge trophy. Sri Lanka Army, may we invite uh, Tisara Pereira, the captain. They were runners up uh, last year. They were champions uh, previously. Well played, Tisara and uh, Sri Lanka Army for an unbeaten and uh, tremendous uh, run through this tournament. We would like to thank uh, the participating teams, we thank our distinguished invitees. Ladies and gentlemen, we conclude uh, the presentation ceremony and go upstairs straight away. The champions of the SLC Major Club T20 Tournament, Sri Lanka Army Sports Club. They won the, four, they won the final by 45 runs, defeating Coastal Club, who also undefeated. These are the undefeated champions, Sri Lanka Army, led by Tisara Pereira. A great tournament for them, Ashan Randiga winning player of the tournament award as well at the end. He was very instrumental for them to win this championship. The champions taking the championship picture amidst all the heavy rains we are having at the moment. A great moment for them after falling short during last year's tournament as they lost to SSC. But this time they did it better. This is the match summary. Coles Crew Club, they won the toss and they asked Army Sports Club to uh, bat first. They scored 139 for the loss of 9 wickets. Sikh Prasanna top scoring with 29. Anandjil Akshan taking 3 for 25. And Imre Kaya for the Sports Club for Bandar for 94. And Islami Sports Club won the championship by 45 runs. Sikh Prasanna took 3 wickets. And Sangeet Kure was the highest scorer for Coastal Club as he scored 38 runs of 38 deliveries. At the end, Army Sports Club won the match by 45 runs to win the SLC Major Club's T20 tournament. So that's it from Bisarup Stadium. That's the end of the telecast of the SLC Major Club's T20 tournament. Thank you very much for joining with us throughout the tournament. And also, we'd like to thank everyone who joined with us through Facebook, through YouTube, and through our website, thepapret.com. With all the obstacles which we had with weather, the tournament also was extended because of the rain interruptions. The matches were replayed, but even then, all the action was brought to you by thepapret.com. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining with us. Thank you, all the camera crew thank you all the technical crew and thank you all the commentators as well who helped us throughout the tournament it was a great tournament so uh, hoping to see all of you once again with another high octane action filled tournament thank you very much for joining with us
Catch me howling at the moon.